going to pick it up where I left off last Saturday. Yeah. I just remember what the name of the game was. That would be the real challenge, remembering that far back. Uh, I guess I'm staring and peering, because there's no multiplayer there, so... Yep. This must be it. Let's go say hi. I think I was playing the over overloaded traits or something. I don't remember what perk I picked and what ascension perk. But I guess I'm, I'm about to find out. Yep, yep, yep. I was looking at some of the changes that they have coming up for the game. Changing combats. Those are great changes. Combat has needed uh, revamping completely for the longest time. So that they're adding something called shield hardening that's going to stop shield and armor penetration. It's about damn time they nerfed that. Because, God, that has dominated the battles for so long. Dude. It's about time. What was I doing? Right, I remember it now. Remember, we're still in this war, aren't we? Yep, we are. I guess I should put that UI mods link on the stream title in case somebody wants to know. There we go. If somebody wants to know the two UI mods I use, they can just type in UI mods. Yeah. What's this? Oh, okay. Cancel this. Make sure everything's looking good. Desktop audio is okay. Microphone audio is okay. Actually, the desktop audio is a little low. I'm gonna bump that up a little. Okay. What's the state of wars in the galaxy? Or power, rather. Looks like I'm number six. Cool. Number five being my ally as well, so that's pretty good. Roof reading a wizard scrolls, just spell checking. Nice, Evie. Nice. I like that. that. That's pretty. That's pretty creative. I like it. I heard one the other day, Evie, that made me laugh for so long. I'm, I'm sure Evie has heard this one already. But I, I was just dying of laughter because I thought it was so creative. It had this picture of a of a guy in a in the opera house, right? And he's singing. Like this is why birds are not as good as humans. And it shows a, a human playing a, a violin. And then it says, see, the violin is fine. But when a bird sings, a coup sticks. And I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. It's so best that it doesn't propagate. The sound doesn't propagate in an opera because the coup sticks. And I'm like, oh Jesus. <laughs> Hilariously dumb, right? I love it. Oh god. Evie, I'm loving my job. I'm doing a hundred hours every two e every two weeks on my new job. Literally fifty hours a week. I love it so much. It's literally just data entry. And it's fantastic. It's the easiest job I'm ever gonna have. <laughs> and they keep thinking like it's something like it's overwhelming for me to do a hundred hours. Like no, this is great. Ah, uh, yeah, that's soon. I'm, I still have to fix my place. I just have not gotten like uh, my energy restored yet from all the roommate drama to actually come around to fix the house. Uh, best thing I'm doing right now is getting rid of junk that I need to. I should have thrown away a long time ago. So that's all I'm doing right now is cleaning the place, getting rid of old stuff slowly. Just... Yeah. Yeah, yep, yep, yep. Yep, I'm leaving it by space and I have mass. More of this, all this, you matter. I love it. Nice. Very nice. I love it. What was I doing? Did I have mega structures going? I do have three mega structures going already, so I could upgrade my star bases if I haven't done that already. Which looks like I have. I have been upgrading them already. Oh damn, look at old me doing, knowing, knowing what she was doing. <laughs> Good job, old me. <laughs> Why do we even have this building here? Because we were at war with this guy before. Not anymore. That's right, I was at war with this guy. I remember it now. Let's get rid of this. 
No, I wanted to keep it because there's Black Hole Observatory, so I'm switching this to Anchorages instead. So how have you been, Evie? I haven't talked in a while. You have not slept yet? Oh Jesus, Evie. Go get some sleep, it's like, what? One in the afternoon for you or something. Nothing has changed? Yeah, no, life has definitely improved for me these last two weeks. After I no longer have roommates and I can live by myself again. I've learned my lesson, Evie. I'm only gonna be roommates with people that I absolutely trust 100%. I just cannot have random strangers as a roommate. It's just, I'm just too old for that shit. It's just so unpredictable how terrible people can be. Complete. So, I'm never having strange roommates ever again. It was too much. Too much for me. Oh, this is so expensive to upgrade. Get some more allies then. This is making cleansing my borders. Go free. This is Galactic Empire. Who are you? Go free. This is Galactic Empire. Construction this is complete. Making cleansing my borders. This guy's making plans on me. Okay. That's what he wants to do. Evie, did you hear about that guy that had their... He was buried like in a... Science division report Glass success. coffin, did you hear that? Yeah, remains to be seen. Shit. Science Division reports a new breakthrough. It's finished. This one is not. It's more ending. This will use crystal that I'm actually short on. And I can reduce this by one. Strategic center is operational. Fantastic. Let's buy a little bit more crystals. No, I want to buy them. Cancel it. Derp. If you do, do, if I were to tell you what my job is, you would laugh. It's literally going through menus, clicking rapidly at little buttons and menus, scrolling down quickly and clicking through things. That is my job, my new job, and typing things fast on the keyboard. I'm like, so it's like playing Stellaris, but you actually get paid for it? <laughs> I'm like, okay. And it's actually simpler. There's like, only 35 things you gotta memorize, and that's it. And the training, it's supposedly like, it's supposed to be like really a lot that you're supposed to remember and train for a lot. I, I, I just wanted to jump into production really quickly. So right now I'm doing like five things and I love it. Like I absolutely love it. Like I'm, I'm, I'm never bored at work. I always have something to do. I can just listen to music all day. I don't have to talk to anybody on the phone. Like my last job, which I hated. I hated call center support. So now that I'm just working data entry, it's just me listening to music all day and just typing on a computer. It's wonderful. I love it. I absolutely love it. 
It's like, man, I wish I could found this job so much sooner. Yeah, and it's so close to my house too. It's like less than ten minutes, CV. And when, whenever I buy a new house, Division I'm gonna buy it around the new, new job as well. But I'm so far away from actually getting the house. God, there's so much to do in this house, in the house that I'm right now. I found a few issues with the house that I didn't know previously. Like there's some walls that has some very minor water damage that I have to take care of, and I have no idea how to even get started on that. Construction complete. Also, even my niece is coming to America. She's construction. She complete. was actually born around here, but then she moved back to Brazil. But now she's moving back. Now that she's got a degree in forensic science, and she's moving back here, and she, we might end up living together. My niece might be my next roommate. Maybe a few months down the road. She's first again. She's gonna stay with my 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 parents. She, in this case, are her grandparents. So. Might, you, might get to live with my niece after Construction all. complete. It's her and her husband. Construction complete. She got complete. married very young, apparently, at 21. Or no, she's 22. God, she just turned 32. She's so old. <laughs> so, so weird. My niece is 22. Construction complete. Already. So bizarre to me. Okay, so what do I want to build oh, next? Yeah. I bought a science thesis. Pickles, I can't see the screen key. There we go. Uh, wait, didn't I already build my strategic center? Is it gonna let me do another? No, because, okay. So I, I was like, I thought I didn't find another one. Let's go here and build a... Alright, they reverted that thing where you could build multiple mega structures in the same. They reverted the decision. Let's put it here. Let me make our installation. Let's do that first. I have a civilian industries here. How about a drop? Uh, yeah, I don't think it's worth it. I'm just gonna do a research institute. I'm gonna remove these farms, turn them into industries. Yep, yep, yep. yep. Science division report success. Gosh, look at your sprinkles being so cute over there. I have a lot of carbon points that to burn through, so... Oh. That's it, okay. I guess I have to save some energy to do the loot box again. Oh, yeah, life, is, life got better, so that's good. A lot less stressed lately. So the lensing for the matter the compressor has done done well. Good. I'll Steve here take care of it. Fantastic. Let's trade like twenty thousand. 
suppose I can give you some uh, syrup. A new world has been secured for our colonists. Hmm, I don't have as much as I thought I did. Okay, well, I'll just trade for less then. Construction complete. Construction complete. Oh, my unity took a dive all of a sudden. What happened? Well, I guess once we have to make our installation, it won't matter too much. Okay, so what extension did I pick this time? Genetics. <coughs> <coughs> so I need the uh, clone factories. Oh, my pickles. You can stay there if you want. I'm kidding. I'm sorry. I actually don't need the mining. I, I would just have a matter of the compressor now, so I should be okay for a while. I will do the, uh, the hollow theaters and the clone vats. I just deal with this problem once and for all the consumer goods. Hey Nanoblit, good morning. How are you? I recognize the FGZ emotes anywhere. Just got the cute emotes too. I love it. Yeah, yeah, if you hate mornings, I remember. Evie, guess what time I'm waking up every day? Take a guess. You're off by five minutes, Evie. <laughs> That's how much I love this job. I wake up that early. Yeah, 442, yep. I'm, I'm there 10 hours a day. I don't have to do the 10 hours, but they give you a $150 bonus if you do 100 hours on in two weeks on top of all the overtime that you get. So the, like this, the, the paycheck that I get is uh, $15 an hour. This is sound like a lot. But once you once you take into account the the twenty hours over time, so it's twenty hours at twenty two dollars an hour, and then you get a bonus for every, you get a bonus for doing over eighty five. Thank you for the sub, appreciate it. And then you get a bonus for going over 90, 90 and then you get another bonus for going over a hundred. So I'm collecting three bonuses plus all the overtime. So it's nice. One paycheck now is equal to two of my paychecks from my last job. So I'm really happy. And it's a job that is super nice. Enjoy the emotes, Nana. Evie is always gifting people. Oh, we're so close to that 5 million goal for subs. So close. <laughs> I have to do that as a joke because I know I'm never going to get to 5 million. Science division report success. But hey, if some very rich person wants to go and drop in 5 million subs, I'm not going to say no, you know? <laughs> you never know. So close. By your new CPU, then? Well, all the money is going towards fixing my house right now, Evie. All that money is going towards fixing the house right now. Your PC is dying. Oh no! How often do you dust it, Evie? Do you dust it every week or every day? 
NPCs, which supposedly lasts a very long time. for the first time in four years? Oh my god, you need. Why would you... You don't clean your PC every week? No wonder your PC is dying. Oh my god. I do not want to see those horror pictures. You do not mistreat PCs that way. That's that's a, that's a crime, maybe. You worked from the office first time since you joined this company about a year ago? And you went only because your friends went too? Ah. Yeah, I don't mind going to the office, and everybody there is super friendly. Well, I'm not gonna open it, Evie. I do not like to see PCs mistreated. You can send it to me, but I'm not gonna open it. Mr. GPC, you brought in whole new fans, used shoe whole can compress and toothbrush, new CPU paste. So you bought only fans? Nice Evie. Very nice. Me being home all day, don't you? Yeah, so you like when I'm home now. Such a good kid. Yeah, just had a big breakfast, huh? Yeah, such a good kitty. The kitties are not as stressed as they were a month ago either, so they're not shitting and peeing everywhere. Hey, jelly friend. It's not an evil empire. We're playing uh, Terra Imperium. We're uh, science division reports. We're xenophile, fanatic, militaristic, uh, oligarchy. Yeah, we're an oligarchy. Totally not evil. That's right. Just go into my lap. Okay, buddy. You just want to be on my lap? Okay. You go to the lap then. <laughs> Spaceport reports enemy contact. Have fun, pirates. So apparently they are changing. Yeah, no, the skull is, is just there for, just for distraction. Mm-hmm. You like rolling off your bed to sleep for the computer and type some code? Construction complete. They call it a job nowadays. Nice. Construction complete. Yeah, friendship skull. Alright guys, you didn't have to send a fleet for this, okay? It's just pirates. But apparently everybody's really bored, wanted to fight, like, oh, pirates are dead. <laughs> Damn, people are just eager to get XP right now. Alrighty then. This card is being a bitch, one of blood. Okay. Maybe the file was just too big, Evie, or just the computer refusing to receive your horror pictures. Science division reports success. That's all it was. Oh yeah, it's a great sp I forgot, it's Spooky Month, right? Damn it, that reminds me, I have to get candy for the kids who come trick-or-treating here later. We should have a normal trick-or-treating weekend. Uh, what is the 31st fall? What time of the, of the week? 
Close on a Monday. Oh, that's unfortunate. Hope the kids treat you after five, because that's when I get home from work. New sit rep. Let's study those forests. To jelly friend, how's your spooky month going? Special project complete. Not very spooky so far, to be honest. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, absolutely, Nana. I absolutely want to play Victoria 3. I've been trying to reach the devs, but I can't figure out how to send a message to to get a copy of the game. I really, 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 really want to play Victoria 3. So, I'm, I'm so looking forward to that. Just have no idea who to talk to. Sure, pick up some halfway done. You're right. Do you have a portal for creators or something? Okay, I'm gonna have to look it up after this stream today. Oh, speaking of creator, um, I have my D&D game tonight and I need ideas. So they are in a factory that it has, it's like a soil, soil and green factory. They, they, they recycle old corpses of, of humans and they turn it into food, which is really delicious. The players have already eaten and that's where they left off. They ate some body parts off of the, the, the conveyor belt that was converting them into food. The players liked the smell and they, they, they failed their will saves, so they ate some of it. Complete. And it's as delicious as they thought it would. It's just, it smells delicious, it tastes delicious, complete. but they're eating corpses. Which, Construction they're gonna complete. become zombies eventually because of this, you know, they're... But, I want to put underneath this uh, Construction factory complete. like a giant monster that is also feeding off of this thing and helping create more zombies. So I need a, a monster that would be a, a mind component, I need a monster that would be a physical component, complete. and a monster that would be a ethere <laughs> ethereal component of this monster. It's like a three-stage boss fight of sorts. And I just cannot think of any Pathfinder monsters that have those, those uh, properties. Special project complete. If you guys have heard of anything like that, I would love to. Are oh, you trapped? Why have you been down here? Welcome. Is that a second emerald I have of those? I think I had another emerald like that. No, I, had, or I just had to level 10, so never mind. Interesting. Oh, that's a level 10 with Gale Speed Emerald. Alright, who is being like Gale then? Looks like the android. Sorry, android, you're being fired. Construction complete. Had a much better Admiral. Uh, 
Oh, uh, if I have Edric Sentry pick that, okay. Science Division report success. Now I'm not feeling very uh, confident that we could beat a crisis, so I need to start plopping some uh, any more anchorages everywhere and all that fun stuff. Let's make sure I'm almost done. What about this one? Oh, I haven't started this. Our installation, there we go. We call your group zero. Science division report success. Is anybody watching that show uh construction complete handmade stale or rings of power? I've been watching all, both of those when I get home from work. They're pretty decent. The late, latest season of Handmade Stale has definitely threw a lot of twists into the mist. Right, how close, how advanced are these two? They have industrial age here. Industrial age society. Are we ready to bring them to space? And this one is. Steam Construction age. Yeah, complete. Let's bring them into space. Been watching the Fallout Rings of Power? A lot of angry nerds out there. Yeah, I don't care about people who complain about shows. If you don't like this show, it's complete. simple. Don't watch it. There's always an angry nerd team. Just remember when the Star Trek New Next Generation got released, how many angry nerds there were? Because, oh my god, this is not Captain Kirk. How dare them bring Picard? This, this is probably going to be a shitty old man who doesn't know anything about acting. We know how that turned out. Uh, those are just racist assholes. I don't even consider those people. If, if you if you be, be a racist towards people, somebody because of the color of their skin, then you're, I don't even value what you have to say. It doesn't matter what you have to say. If you're a racist piece of shit, I don't even care what you have to say. So I just completely ignore racists altogether. Their opinion doesn't matter. I completely ignore those racist pieces of shit. Our pioneers they try to have hide their fall. opinion. Like, oh, no, but it's not how well. No, shut up. It's racism. Just shut up. Just. Just shut up. You know, every time somebody starts saying that I'm not racist, but like I just know that's racist. You're an asshole. Just stop. <laughs> I'm not watching the Game of Thrones. I don't have HBO. I don't really care for Game of Thrones anymore after how bad the the this series ended. I didn't care to watch it. I'm just not gonna watch it. It was way better than you, they, you think. All right. Well, that's good. Way better than original. All right. In threat against who? Rexar Industries. Why are you a threat, Rexar Industries? This guy, you're my neighbor. Why are you a threat? Hang on. Before I vote on this, what are you? Why are we ending this threat? Well... Alright, let's end this threat. Oh, they have a Colossus. Okay, yeah sure, let's go say hi. Like they were coming, then I jump in and they're like, uh, maybe we shouldn't go there, boss. <laughs> See, they were about to jump in there, bastards. Oh, 
Oh, Endor is good. Yeah, I've been watching that one too. Endor was good. That I do agree. Engaging enemy station. Wait, now how did they get the claim here? Oh, it was next to my borders. The hell? Oh, whatever, they can have it. They're not following my fleet around. Fleet action underway. Construction complete. Construction complete. I've been listening to the Audible for Sandman on uh, at work. That was amazing. Like I, I watched the show Netflix, and sure, it's a it's a good uh, adaptation. But then I, I started listening to the audiobook for the Sandman series, and that was that was impressive. When they get to the Orpheus part, and I'm not gonna spoil it because somebody hasn't read the comics yet. But damn, I was impressed by the audible for uh, for Sandman. Yeah, they picked some really good voice actors. Even the the actor that they picked to voice the Sandman, it was very close to the one on Netflix too. So they, they did a good job casting for both the show, the TV, and for the and for the audible. Both of them were very very well cast. I was impressed. Oh, I have to land on this first. Okay, where is my army? Where is my army? I'm what you doing all the way over there? What the hell? Construction complete. Construction complete. Construction complete. Sleepers awakening, huh? Interesting. Construction complete. Very interesting. Well, that's unfortunate. They're fighting the guys that I'm fighting. Huh. Yeah, they're they're done. 
and get wrecked over here. Fantastic. Oof, a fallen empire waking up in the middle of a war that you're already losing. Oof. Oof. It's a big goof for this empire. I only have one border with this guy, so it's easy to fight them. More resource silos, more resource silos. Ground forces are dropping on target. Don't mind if I do. How big is their fleet? Oh, they're coming in. Alrighty. They wanna fight? Let's fight. It's good XP here for my emeralds. They have Crystal Forge plate here for me. I have not gotten that. So let's go check it out. Go to them instead. Construction complete. Sword One Actual reports all ground objectives secured. Keep on ending. I guess I can relocate some of these pops out of here since they're obviously not gonna need them anymore. Uh, do I have room in my pick planets for pops? I do. Look at this planet right here. Voice lines? No, I think that's the same one. That's the soldier. They have a new one here, the Toxoid. They added this one, Jelly Fred. Oh, please. Do not press any buttons if you don't know what they do. I've already had to save you from spontaneous combustion quite enough times. <laughs> that's great. Our forces have made planet fall. I'm not pressing the buttons if you don't know what they do. That's great. Research complete. Construction completed. Hastily. Construction completed. Hastily. Yeah, this thing bugged on this side here. <laughs> it didn't get any completed. fire name, just his regime off. Hastily. And it was blank. <laughs> I saw this bug multiple times. Hey, Bungida. It's going great. How are you? No updates on the house, but job is fantastic. Love my job. I absolutely love my job. Thank you. 
How, how was life? What did you do? Anything new in Bandida's land? Research complete. Be pretty good. Have a work trip next week to San Diego to get away from the cold. Aww, the cold is wonderful. An enemy planet has been secured. Cold is not bad, cold is fun. <laughs> yes, yeah, that was their calling me. That new Stellaris chill soon. I mean, they're they're making up some new developments. Did you guys see the? Did you guys check out that they're, they're redoing the space combat again? They're adding more like uh, specialized ships, they're adding frigates to Stellaris. Did you guys see that? There's gonna be a in between destroyer and cruiser Research. called frigate. So we're gonna have five ship classes instead of four. Well, if you count the Titans then. Juggernauts, Colossus. We have eight instead of seven, but whatever. But yeah, it's nice. They're adding more stuff. Still with you, cousins. I just come back. I know, right? I know, Bungie. Bungie will never give up on that. Never give up, Bungie. Never surrender. Construction it will happen eventually. Tasted. Wow, these people must be really xenophobic if you can't enlighten them. Oh. That would help them then. Right, let's bring them up to space. Enlighten two primitives here to bring them into space. Our forces are being planted for. Think you, you think your idea of Stellaris 2 coming out, if somebody owns the first game, they will get it for free? Oh, that's never gonna happen. It's paradox. When have they ever given a game away for free unless you're a streamer and you get it for free? They they, they need to eat too. I mean they're they're people just like what you do. We are. They gotta eat. They need the money to buy basic stuff like you know, food and uh, you know, rent and all that stuff. Yeah, Destiny 2 came out a year after Rise of Iron came out because Destiny had a three year support. Okay. Did Destiny 2 get given, given away for free? But then, isn't Destiny. Do you have to pay a subscription to play Destiny or something? Or am I thinking the wrong game here? Because no, it was an MMO. No, no subscription. Okay. PC, don't Our okay. forces are made planet for. Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> Any pops here can move? Oh my god, it's all reapers. Nah, no, just stay there. Our forces are made planet for. Our 
forces are made kind of thing. Yeah, this would be better repair our ships. So this uh, Holy Empire here has awoken. They're they're fighting the, the same guys we're fighting right now. Or I guess they pieced out. No, they're still fighting. Oh, they lost the fight. Oh, but uh, looks like the Fallen Empire here, their fleet is bugged, so they can be targeted. Right? Is that the that's happening here? Oh, it's that wonderful bug where they can shoot at each other. Oof. Oh no, they're just fighting somebody else. I'm so confused. Why, could, why aren't they fighting at each other? Huh? Oh, because this, this is a completely different faction, and I obviously cannot read it. Never mind. I'm just stupid. Derp. Derp, derp. You cannot play Stellaris because your second hard drive space, so you need another hard drive. Just got a new monitor yesterday. Alrighty. Construction completed. Hastily. See, they already opened a new beachfront over here on this side. I'll just secure this border that is only the dangerous one, so I'll hold the line. Construction completed. Hastily. Damn, that was a big ground fight. Construction completed. Hastily. Maybe we should train more armies. Research complete. Oh, why is it getting lagging? Oh. It paused for a second because every time you try to do this, it lags. Destiny 3 bug got cancelled because Destiny 2 was buggy at 200 gigabytes. So Bungo played smart, decided to vault unpopular locations. Okay. So is vault the way they store stuff that the players didn't like? Is that how, is that how that goes in Destiny? I've only played the very first game, the first Destiny, then I got bored of it very quickly. So I know I get it, it's a first person shooter MMO. But this vault, I'm guessing that's like a, also known as this Destiny content vault. So it's stuff that is irrelevant, but players players can still access it if they want to. But it's it has no relevant gear. Is that what it is? Kind of like in WoW, where you can go back to previous expansions and just to get like trans mods and stuff. Is that this, is that what you're talking about, Melon? An enemy planet has been secured. Got it. Got it, got it. Pre-order the Victoria 3, but as far as you know, you can still return it if it's bad. Game you pre-order was Cyberpunk before the SimCity 2013. For SimCity 2013, oh my goodness. I hope it's better this time. Yeah, I, I, I never pre-order games. I haven't even pre-ordered Dragon Fight for World of Warcraft, which I am gonna play with my guild. But I'm, I'm just gonna wait until it gets released. There is zero reason to pre-order unless it gives some sort of amazing bonus or the game is cheaper. Victoria 2 sound okay fair. So soundtrack for Victoria 2 was pretty good. I have played Victoria 2 and I'm just not good at it. 
But I played it. You don't pre-order the Caesar games? Yeah, same. Just there's no reason. Absolutely none no reason. Now that I think about it, I have not bought a game in three years. All the games I have, I've uh, gotten to either through streaming. Our force. No, that's it. I just got them through, through streaming. I have actually. No, I take that back. I did buy. I buy the Brotato. I I, I lied. I, I bought a game this month, this year. The Brotato game it was like five bucks. <laughs> but, I, but then again, I've been having a lot of fun with it. So I've, I've gotten my five dollars worth out of that game. That was a pretty fun game. <laughs> It's such a stupid game, but it's so fun. I saw a bunch of big streamers play, and like, this looks really fun. You tried out Undertale? How was that? Bonerize your minions is like Brotator too? Let me, let me check it out. Let me pause this real quick. I wanna take a look at this. Bonerizer minions? Uh, that's a mouthful. I was looking at this one earlier. Look, look really cute. Polarizer minions. Well, not on Steam. Our forces have made planet fall. A oh, bone razor. Oh, okay. Sorry, I, ha I have to read literally when I see on on, on Twitch. <laughs> I, I I can't really expect. Uh, bone razor minions. So they kind of. Oh, I, I saw somebody play this. Yeah, it's definitely more eight bits. I love it. Interesting. So it's like a, you're a necromancer of sorts. An enemy planet has been secured. Oh, you're fighting heroes. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I might have to put that on my wish list to play some other time. It's early access. I should wait for the game to be out. That's cool. Thanks for the suggestion. Our forces have made planet fall. Let's throw a pawn vats in here as well. An enemy planet has been secured. Let's move some of these pops over. Let's know I got people. This new people that I just got. That's free pops, I mean, you gotta take it, right? Guy worlds are pretty good in Hive Worlds or Guy Worlds, but better. Yeah. Because Hive Worlds, you can modify the amount of uh, districts willy nilly between any dis any district type. Just like Machine Worlds. They get the you still get the 10% bonus of production, but you also can readjust the number of districts of any kind. You just want all mining districts? Sure. Hive Worlds and mi Machine Worlds can do that. If you want all. Actually, farm you cannot do in Machine Worlds. But yeah. Farm in a high world, you can go all farms if you want. Yeah. Mm 
Let's just do the 200 food a month here. Research complete. Sure. Looks like they got this side that they can throw, so I guess I'm gonna go this way. Where did my armies go? Oh, they're already there. Okay. Two fleets, uh, two armies, I guess. Stellaris, Game of Server, Limited Fortress, UNC Forerunners, The Flood, and the Covenant Fortress. I think there's some mods for that. I'm sure there are mods for that. Stellaris has so many mods. It's not, not as many as Ringworld, but there's a lot of mods in Stellaris. There's a, my auto mod is being a little overzealous. Hang on. <coughs> Remember, you used to mod the living shit out of Stellaris until you took a break. The enemy planet has been secured. That's fair. I'm supposed to say hi to this team. Looks like a big team right here. Let's go say hi. Yeah, I don't care. Those are not my colonists anyway. Say hi. This is where all their survivors have returned. They're all gonna die. Rip. Also, Titans here. Not that it matters. Splat, 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 splat. Oh, all the XP. Gotta love it. Wonderful. Yeah, two levels out of that. Fantastic. Alright, transports. Come on in. Let's go ahead and kill the Colossus here. Because, you know... Oh, I can't just jump there. I guess I could just use the jump drive over there. Okay, watch that. I should try to run away with the Colossus. Yeah, they can no longer use this gateway. Because it's mine as controlled by my ally. Which means they cannot use the hyper leg either. Let's just kill it. Research complete. Okay, battery compressor is finished. Fantastic. Essence here. Our forces are made kind of fall. Order of the way done. Interstellar's uh this is the matter our installation. I'm going to build next a interstellar assembly. Or science. Let's build a science nexus. That's more important. The enemy planet has been secured. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, go repair your ships. You remember you helped humans become into your southern fire because you're nice? Nice. This game is pretty fun. It has its moments. Our forces are made planet fall. Let's roll the let's gamble. Bunch of science, I'll take it. That's a mega structure. Yeah, it's a mega installation. Is there another mega structure? But this is gonna be theirs because it's already right next to their borders. Oh, I didn't want to have this little system, but I guess I took it. Yeah, I took all the useless systems. Great. I'm gonna have to give those back up to the Lord. Don't want any, don't want any more borders. I'm happy with my borders. I always gotta go tall. I hate, hate doing the, the white empires. Let's build another star base right here. Eventually, I'm gonna unite these. I, I hope. Summon so all prices at once. Once Stellar Born Empire, fought them all. Oh, that's the sadness in the base game now, Melon. The, 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 the crisis come in increasing difficulty. The first one will come at times 25, then times 40, then times 55. So. Looking forward to seeing how bad the price is going to be in this galaxy. But it's all of them active already. I'll use the console to do it. Okay. Maybe I can get the Mega Shipyard here if I jump in here. I'll, I would take a Mega Shipyard. Can I make a claim on that? I will make a claim on that. Yeah, if I can get two, two other mega structures, I'll take it. Where are my armies anyway? Why are we all the way over there? Oh no, that's not my army. I'm an idiot. That's not my army. Army's right here. I'm not awake yet, chat. I'm not awake. They're all in this one habitat, apparently having a massive battle on this. How many people, how big is this habitat that you can fit this many armies in there? No, that would make ground combat a lot more fair if there was a limit to how many troops could land on it. Imagine how much more chaotic ground fights would be if there was a, a limit to how many troops could land and how many troops could defend. So there'd be like... <laughs> there's a set amount of... Uh, you give anything that you build over this limit of armies to defend a planet, they immediately get sent into space. Just like if you try to land too many armies, they won't land, they only land as many as they can land. That would make ground combat a lot more intense, I think, if they did that. But I'm sure it would also drive a lot of people crazy if they did something like that. Mysterious Moon of Favonius. Oh, Dark Matter. I'll take it. This situation has been cataloged. Dark matter, please. Research logged and annotated. Nest is born. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> yep, dark matter drawing. There it is. Yep, dark matter is always hard to come by. An enemy planet has been secured. <coughs> oh, 
Alrighty, let's jump in here and finish this off. Can we split this foot in half? I think we can split this army in half. It's way too big. Alright, you jump over there. You jump over here. When you first came to Solaris, you had a Devouring Storm. Fun, fun. All anchor just are good. Nice. Our forces have made planet fall. Sphere. Stage, please. An enemy planet has been secured. Can we relocate any of those pops out of that planet before it switches over to the other empire? I think I can. Yeah, it's a lot of pops here. Let's not let that go to waste. Gotta make a shit character to myself, which is almost <laughs> first stage is almost done. That's book that mark is group nine, and I don't have I started another mega, a mega structure up here. So I technically have four mega structures being built because I got one that was under construction already. Yep, science next is being built and all that. Fantastic. This planet, oh, this planet is mine, right? Because I made a claim on it. Um, hypercoms, we got a gas refineries. Let's get rid of some of this stuff. What were they doing with this planet, and why is it so bad? Oh, I had some devastation on it too. We move some people off of this planet then to so make this planet a little a little happier. Yeah, let's move some of these people off. It's a little better. Let's move some more people off. To this one. Shimmering Pearl. Yeah, right there. There. Problem solved. I do need more food though. Putting this empire out of their misery. Research complete. Just change this. I don't remember these two buttons being here. This is this is new. Yeah, they definitely changed this a little bit. It used to be like these two buttons left and right. They changed this to look like very obvious now. Our forces are made. I like it. Fall. I like it. An enemy planet has been secured. Our forces are right, I cannot do four mega structures. 
I was I took advantage of that for a second, but can't anymore because this one's still being built. Science Nexus. So just wait. Our forces have made planet fall. Two massive combats here. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. So, has anybody got any games other than Victoria 3 that they're looking forward to playing? This this year I got Victoria 3 and Dragonflight, another expansion for WoW to look forward to. That's the games I'm going to be playing a lot coming soon. Oh, somebody's planning to declare war on me. Who is it? Kadeshi Prime. Oh yeah, this is a World Model expansion too, right? That's right. I'm sure my friend Rexy, she's going to love it. She's going to want to play that too. Kadeshi Prime. Oh, this, oh, we're gonna be fighting the Purple Federation soon. How big are they? Oh, they're pretty strong. Yeah, they have. Holy shit, they're strong. Holy f fuck. L look at this. Um. Um. <laughs> crap. Um. Let's, let's see if we can uh, stop this war from happening. Cause... Holy crap. AI. Look, look at the AI actually playing pretty good, guys. Look at this. Hot damn! Good job, AI! Have I seen Grounded? Yes, the little people in a yard everything walking around. I saw that. That one looks pretty, looked pretty fun. Yeah, we're in trouble for fighting this Corp Federation. We're gonna be in trouble. They're big. An enemy planet has been secured. Research complete. So if I'm insulated enough here, I don't have to worry about this war because my borders are going to be very secure. They might come in through this side though. Our forces are made. The main battleground is going to be Ejok then. All right, I've got to get out of this war soon then. We have that big of a war to fight in a second. Research complete. Yeah, that's not a small. That is not a small fleet. They're gonna. The they should be able to help take out the crisis when that comes up. First, Pentiment? What is Pentiment? What is that game about? I know end of the year is usually the biggest time for games because when all the games come out. Yeah, what's Pentiment? I want to see this. Pentiment? E-N-T-I-M-E Pentiment What's this about? RPG of sorts? Hmm. Historical mystery narrative driven game that focuses on character development heavily stylized art and choice-driven storytelling in the early 16th century Germany. Cool, put that on my wish list. Neat. Comes out next month, apparently. Very cool. I always like learning about games that I haven't heard of. Always, you always find some hidden gems that way. Industrial Revolution. The fully industrialized society. Well, we're enlightening them, so it's not like it's a surprise that they develop something more. Oh, I guess I have to continue doing this then. More fleets, rather. 32, 10, 21.
the moment that even if I don't have the flu the naval capacity for it, I have to. Just have to find a way to get all this. Maybe a lot of Whatchamacallit, I'm gonna need a lot of uh, fortresses to support all this. They come to declare war on me while in the middle of a war, that's even worse because we're going to be fighting two wars and these guys are not small. These guys have an actual proper fleet. Look at this! That's impressive. I'm really impressed. Somewhere over here to make him monopolis. Oh, my sprinkles. Sprinkles is on my lap this entire time. Now it's just when it go going on to chill. Is there really no more jobs here? I guess not. Well, our forces are being cut. We'll find some jobs, people. In order to buy as much food. refuses to be better. I guess I can put a governor here. Yeah, perfect. That's what I needed. Our forces are made by default. We can tell them to focus a little bit more entertainment because they don't have much entertainment. Where are the entertainment jobs? Shouldn't I have the hyper entertainment for us? Oh, right, because they're dualists. That's right. <laughs> for, because we're military stick, we have dualists instead of uh, entertainers. That should help. There you go. That stops the rebellion over here. No, it does not. Still pretty low stability. An enemy planet has been secured. Hmm. Okay, there you go. Now it's stopped. I really wish I could move, the, just like you can move planets around in this uh, outliner, I wish you could also move the ships around, as I hated that you can rearrange the ships here in any way you wanted. You should be able to at this point, six years into the game. Our forces are made planet fall. An enemy planet has been secured. More pops, more pops. Our forces are being kind of fall. Let's move you guys over somewhere. Like here. Let's go deal with, I don't know, this, this. There, there, and there. And then you come back here, and then we'll stop it there. So I just landed on this planet, let's empty it out as well.
looks a little evil to empty out plans that she's about to go to her ally, but... Meh. If they wanted it, they should've landed themselves. Right? That's how that goes. <laughs> well, I guess they, sir, they did what I was about to do, so I guess we'll go this way then. Our forces may cut and fall. Can I just go here? Yeah, let's just go here. Research complete. Not finished landing here? Oh my goodness. Could deal with that, please. Well, I hope my ally is building ships, because I'm not gonna be, I'm gonna I'm not gonna have enough fleets to deal with this. This is insane. I love it. I like when the AI actually builds more ships than I do. This is a good sign. That, that AI is improving in Stellaris. Look at this! I love it. They're not as strong as my fleets, but they're vast. They're building quite a lot. It's fantastic. Fan freaking tastic. An enemy planet has been secured. Our forces have made planet fall. I don't care about that farm because it's landing from my ally. Now this one I'm gonna mark this as group seven. Here's mega structure. Looks like we're saying hi to their Colossus was left behind over here for some reason. An enemy planet has been secured. Don't know why they parked their Colossus here, but it's, it's gone now. Our forces are made. Are those pirates? Those are pirates. Wow. An enemy planet has been secured. Can move some of these off. Find jobs elsewhere. Our forces have made planet fall. Our forces have made planet fall. Oh yeah, what was the one plan that one? Turn this one. One turn this one to Kimenopolis as well. Let's do it. An enemy planet has been secured. It's a tomb world, that's why nobody wants to be here, but most nerds in arcology, they'll move here. This planet? Do I want this planet? Not really. I can always clean out this border guard later. Yeah, but there's not much left of this empire. Just gotta land on a few planets here, here, here. There it is. The war that was on oh, their best allies in this too. Pollution war simulation is mandatory. Wonderful. Yeah, I guarantee you they're gonna come in through here. If they were smart, they would come in through here. So we're fighting an enemy that is incredibly overwhelming. This little tiny empire, look at the size of their freaking fleet. That's insane. I love it. 
Amazing. Hey, Dragoner. How are you? Happy freaking Saturday. Welcome to the weekend. Our forces have made planet fall. Our forces have made planet fall. Alright, let's find out where we're gonna attack. Because the Hex Party haven't made any moves yet. An enemy planet has been secured. An enemy planet has been secured. Our forces have made planet fall. So far, I could just completely ignore this this war. So far. Our forces have made planet fall. I guess we don't know where they're coming from. Yeah, they declared war, but their their whole fleet is here. Just sitting around looking menacingly. An enemy planet has been secured. I think all these borders that I'm we're expanding here is making them rethink this war, maybe? I'm hoping. Research complete. A primitive species has been enlightened. All right. More food, then. Okay, this is fine. Another protectorate. <laughs> welcome to space. Grab our a spear. We're going to. We're, we're at war. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Brought this guy to space. Hey, welcome to space. Grab a gun. <laughs> he came here in the middle of a war. An enemy planet has been secured. Stop this gateway in case the other enemy that we're about to fight decides to use that gateway. Oh, this see this guy declared war. He's got a big fleet, but he, he apparently everybody hates this guy, so yeah, everybody has closed borders to this guy. So even though he's got a big fleet, he can't get to us because they're evil. Nobody wants to open borders to them, so they're stuck in their own borders. Well, I guess I was I worried about for nothing. Our forces are made. That's funny. The evil empire. Can't get access anywhere to declare war just out of pure posturing. Fantastic. <laughs> just AI things, I suppose. Actually, go finish landing on this one. This one does need some landing as well. Someone else is trying to attract your attention. Is it only the two planets here? Yeah, only the two. Okay. Oh yeah, I guess I'm gonna get go. Yeah, I'll just a humiliation then. Yes, yeah, surrender. Okay. So it's the blue, blue and orange federation, which is mine, against the purple gray federation. That's where the next war is about to happen. The winner of this war becomes the, the first galactic superpower then. Because that, that would decide who, who has the most power in this galaxy, whoever wins this war. They, however, cannot move because their whole fleet is stuck behind the fact that everybody has close borders to them. So I can take my time and keep taking pot shots at their borders whenever I want. So I'm just going to finish this war before I even engage in this other war. Awesome.
that is the last unoccupied system, everything else just needs to be landed. Both of my transport ships are doing their whole landing. That's good. Say, probably should make some modifications to my people here. Oh, this one is cybernetic. Oh, that's interesting. I'm gonna apply this and apply that to everybody. Oh, I can't. <laughs> they got smart to work. Yeah, it's got all the brain parts. I guess I'll just apply this one to this one then, later. I think I just inherit this, this, that. I don't, I don't need this. No, 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 decline. I want to return control. I wanted to downgrade the star base. Oh, I haven't finished landing on there yet. Okay. The species has been modified. Its inadequacies are diminished. Now we're gonna apply this to the other one. This situation has been cataloged. I miss being able to just put everything to a single species. I don't know why they decided to change that. Gotta fix this guy because they're a nerve stick. We're gonna make them very smart. The species has been modified. Okay, now let's fix its inadequacies. Are this diminished. species right here. The situation has been yeah, cataloged. They don't need to be nerve stapled. We can make them smart. This guy, however, we can make a change. Let's give you the elevated lances, augmented intelligence, erudite, deviance, and robust. Perfect. Hostiles have targeted our station. Wait, wait, wait! They actually coming? They found a way in. Oh, those are pirates. I don't care about the pirates. Yeah, don't care at all. Well, my fleet could go home to repair before we eventually engage the big other big empire. An enemy planet has been secured. Now I wonder, does this guy have any strategic coordination centers? I don't have a mega shipyard over here. Right? But that's a center hub. Mega shipyard is here. Yeah, there you go. There's a the mega shipyard. In the eventuality that we actually get uh, pretty far into this battle. Oh, I don't have the influence, that's way too far, and I don't have enough influence. Yeah, that's right. So, never mind. So, the only people we're fighting in this war, even though it's the Spur Federation, uh, who am I actually fighting? Only those two, okay. Repairing first. Is there anything else we can build here? No, just promote harvesting so we don't do more chemical plants then. And in here, we're gonna throw some. Uh, Chemical plants again. Here with the synthetic plants.
apply this to the group. I have a project. Oh yeah, that one was taking forever. <coughs> okay, where are my armies? What are they doing? Okay, we can go there. This one's not doing anything. We'll go here. Let's finish this small pockets that we need to land on. So grab a gun, Our force get to the front lines. An enemy planet has been secured. Even if you're just getting science from another Galatron, you can still get some pretty good amount of science from those, so it's like entirely wasted. Thousand alloys a month, maybe more alloys than that. Its inadequacies are diminished. That's definitely not enough alloys. All my anchors is here. Uh, Our forces are made <clears throat> planet fall. I think I need this one. I don't need this one at all. Let me cancel these two cruisers. Someone else is trying to attract your attention. Get rid of this star base. This one's completely unnecessary. I have two mega shipyards, don't need that at all. Research complete. We have too big of an army here to land. Oh, somebody else landed on it. Oh god An damn it. Planet has been it's one of those. Okay, guess we're gonna land somewhere else. Let's land over here. Our forces have made planet fall. It would have been nice if I could have united these borders here, but AI won't do that. Yeah, they're very greedy when it comes to systems. We already have a Galactic Community Council. Yes, we do. And I'm nowhere near it. Jesus, the guy we're fighting is a massive... He's losing the power. Are they fighting somebody? Yeah, they're constantly losing right now. Oh. Oh, they have economic sanctions. Yeah, this guy's got a lot of diplo power, but Our forces are made they're stuck because nobody will want to fight them. I mean, nobody wants to let, give them open borders. Wait, they're, they moved their ships. Enemy planet has been Where did they go? <laughs> Looks like they got access somewhere. Where'd you go, buddy? Oh shit, they're over here. Oh, yeah, they're, 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 they're there. Let's go say hi. I was looking for a reason to go fight them, so there we go. I don't know that they're losing Diplo Power because they're in the middle of a fight. Let's go say hi over here to this. So they found a way in here. Yeah, their main fleet is over here. So we're going to have to go do our best here to survive. Do I already have all the stuff activated? I do have the stuff activated. Oof. Research complete. Yeah, well, thankfully I have my ally here to buffer this. Actually, let's go here instead. This one is just a single fleet. 
gotta take out the smaller ones first. It's like in the crisis, you don't fight the main fleet out once you fight this, the pockets until there is no more pockets. Engagement, victory for me. Good, put back over here. Go to this gateway. We're gonna have to hit all the pockets of gateways that they they come close to. Maybe fight on this gateways that they're coming in. That might not be a bad idea. Another pockets we can jump in. Do I have access to this one? I don't think I know they have access to this one. An enemy planet has been secured. I do see a big fleet over here. Oh, that's not big, that's tiny. Hmm. Alright, chat. What would you do in this situation? Would you go after the because they're the whole their main fleet is right here, right in the middle, right? Doing all the fighting, my allies keeping them distracted. I can go from behind, try to hit as many as possible. They have a big fleet over here that I don't have access to because these guys have close borders to me. No, I do not. They have a big fleet, Chipacabra. Look at the size of this fleet. There's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12? 170k. That's almost twice what I have. That's a big fleet. So I, I need to keep hitting all the smaller pockets. But I'm just thinking where, which ones would I hit for? Because I need, I need to keep as much of a distance this one. Because this fleet is going to splinter the more pockets we hit. Because the AI likes hitting multiple targets. So I think if I hit this one right here, I should be, be able to distract them a little. You know, this AI is fighting pretty good. Alright, let's go fight this pocket. Like, the more pockets of ships we fight, the better. It's gonna cause a lot of war exhaustion for them. are strong but they have a lot of ships so I, I gotta be smart about this and not just fight their whole fleet all at once oh good we killed the juggernaut we didn't just disengage it we killed it so now the plan is to Oh, no, why, why did my transport ship have to go there? No, transport ship, don't be stupid. Why did you have to do this? Just go back. Stupid transport ship. Gonna lose the 6k, 7k our army here. Because they decided to jump in there. Mm -hmm. That's not a small army to lose. Can you retreat as soon as I can? Oh, 50 days. You're not gonna survive 50 days. Yeah, if I open this gate over here, I will splinter their fleet, and then I can fight this one. I can take out that one. Oh, they retreated. Okay, good. That transport ship was smart enough to. No, they we lost it all. Never mind, I lost that entire army. That's okay. That was to be expected, I suppose. Yeah, we gotta take this gateway over here and start retaking all those borders.
What I am doing is building a secondary fleet, though. Even though I'm way over my naval cap, I gotta do it. I already have Supremacist, uh... Stance? I hope I do. I do. Oh my god, that's with Supremacist. How about, uh... Leech thing? I already have Grand Fleet active. Yikes. So I have 400. I, don't, I can't really take any more of these. Research complete. Our forces have made planet fall. Once again, this army is right here. Let's go back. Have to sit there, okay? I, I should. That's what I'm gonna do next. I'm gonna build strongholds. As soon as the sea opens lots, I'll be building strongholds. God, their fleet is just melting though, which is great. Which means that their fleet is very poorly built. Their main fleet is splintering. Perfect. Should be able to fight them then. That's exactly what I wanted to happen. Splintering their fleet. Yeah, they came this way. Awesome. Because then I can jump from this gateway right where their fleets jumped in to splinter off. Alright, come over here. Amazing, because now, now I can take their fleets here in, in little pieces. Awesome. Now we jump away from here to go back to this gateway. Wait for them to get back closer, then we jump again. <laughs> hey Dolphin, how are you? Look at this AI dolphin. I know you're very you're a veteran of Stellaris. Look at this fleet that the AI built. They have like a, oh they splintered it up, but they had like a 12, 12 fleets of 180k sitting in here. AI is actually building fleets pretty impressive, dolphin. I, I gotta say I am impressed by the AI in this patch. Right? I'm like what? Happened. Love it. Let's jump in to fight. Sit over here. Yeah, we're splintering their fleets and... Oh, guess they made it to my borders over here? No, they almost made it to my borders. I guess we have to go here then. That's the closest they got into my borders. Let's stop this little expansion over here then. Like my allies are fighting on this side. Yeah, there's some pretty intense fighting happening over there. Yeah, this this battle group that they have going on here. It's like look at this. A group of uh, 190k fleets. Another group of 190k, 200 k fleets, another group. Another group. Another group. Yeah, AI is actually fighting pretty good. 
They're gonna still gonna die though, but they're fighting pretty good. Not letter. They do their experiments, it's fine. Totally fine. Yeah, we're, we're just clearing wherever they try to open pockets, we, we take the small groups first. Because that's, that's how you beat this big fleet, so you don't fight their whole fleet all at once. You fight them in smaller, smaller increments. Can we stop this guy before they jump? Come on. Yes. Fantastic. Their fleet just melts. I love it. Melt and melt. Okay, so this side is cleared out. Let's go back to defending this side. Looks like they came back over here and retook this gateway. Which is unfortunate. But now I can jump in here. Probably should fight because that's gonna be a big fight. I probably should repair first. So let's just chew here for a second to repair. Yeah, no, this guy's getting humbled though, for sure. Yeah, not gonna surrender. Are you kidding? There's unemployment here. Okay. Oh, there's crime over here. Not unemployment, it's crime. Uh, I guess I can replace one of these auto forges with a free cent. Because I hate doing that. It would be cool if you could do like sabotage uh, operations too, like whenever their ship is docked in a station, if you blow the star base, it does like 30% damage to all the ships parked at that star base. That'd be pretty cool. That would be a good way to buff the, the espionage. Because right now you just you blow up a, a, a you blow up a component in a star base, like darn, I spent 20 alloys and I fixed that. So it's it's like super minor, but if they made it so like you can do damage to, to ships, that would be amazing. Okay, you guys are repaired enough. Get to this gateway. Looks like they're fighting a big flow. Oh, too late. And they took over this one, so I can't fight that one. Research complete. Hopefully I can get here fast enough. So I gotta stop one direction out of this. This is a lot. So I need strongholds, and I also need. Um, so I need strongholds, and I need exotic gas as my next buildings. Stop the side from expanding. Yeah, there's only three 600k fleet here. We can take the 600k. Never thought I'd say only 600k.
that's dark matter that I'm lacking. Okay. Oh, I think this war is helping is getting all my admirals to level 10. They're definitely pretty high level right now. Fantastic. Are they just gonna run away? Are we gonna stop them? Yeah, I'll be able to close the little gap over here. Lichu is not quite ready for battle yet. Nope. Yeah, Lichu is still pretty pathetic. But they could take this side though. No, because of this fleet here, they can't. Should have jumped in here instead, but that's okay. A rapid deployment. Okay, fantastic. But at least you could do is at least land on your own planets, right? I, don't, I, don't to, I hope I don't have to keep landing on your planets, too. Speaking of, where is my army? Over here, okay. We're still not done with this war because they landed there. Yep, so we're, we're stuck in this war. Great. Alright, I guess I am landing on this planet then. Just get to here for now. I'm gonna manually control that army. a big fleet right here. They have unyielding and weapons range. That's that's a dangerous fleet fight because they will not disengage. They'll fight to the death over here. Huh. I shall give them what they want then. Oh they still disengaged. Okay they lied. How how can they still disengage if they have an unyielding admiral? Something is wrong there. You once again breach this side. They open another beachfront. Great. Research complete. Yeah, 600k only. I didn't disable capacity. It's Killing me. Alright, it's time. Let's build a bunch of strongholds. Which is, I hate doing that. I need to enable capacity. Wow, my minerals took a huge dump, too. Oh, they're gonna kill all the smaller ships. That's okay. Our fleet has been yeah. lost. Be more careful next time. They're killing the reinforcements. Our fleet has been lost. Be more careful next time. Starbase destroyed. More jump for the pile. Oh, they made it to my borders. That's not good. Fleet 2, it's your time to shine. You're not ready, but you're, you're about to be ready. Someone else is trying to attract your attention. Mm -hmm. 
which you can probably pick on the stream. Maybe. Yeah, damn this guy for him having open borders to them. Your, your inaugural fight. It's your first battle here. See how bad you do. Did you get splintered? Now you're fine. You should be able to take this. Good job, play two. First battle, you won. Fantastic. You can take that one easily. Good job, fleets. Good job all around. Should have been, but you're gonna merge with this one now. So we have 170k, 180k, we can take him. Okay, how about we wait for everybody before we engage, huh? Research now you're very eager to go fight, but please wait for the group. Any small battles you can fight over here. Those are some big fleets. Yeah, they keep trying to find that open space to get in. And the sucky part is we're getting more war exhaustion than they are because they have more fleets than we do. Even though we're killing their fleets, we're getting a lot more war exhaustion from this. Because it's considered a hopeless battle, but it's not. I think I think I can still turn this around. I just kill enough of them. We're making a significant push over here now. Where is my army anyway? You're over here. Which doesn't help me any. How about you go down here? Where's the gateway? Here. So I need to take this two back. Start landing on this planet it's back. Let's rescue them. It's gonna keep giving me more war exhaustion, which is bad, so they might do the status quo out of this. I just hope they didn't have any claims on any of this territory. What's your favorite song? Is it max volume already? Let's see it. It is. Among the ruins.
our forces and made planet fall. These ground battles are going to cause a lot of war exhaustion. Ground battles are rough. I'm just really glad that they didn't get access from this side. That would have been bad if they got access from this side. Fleet one, I guess we're gonna have to go fight over there. We'll leave group two down here. An enemy planet has been secured. Okay, the word exhaustion is getting higher now, that's good. Search complete. What are you doing on this fleet? Just go do something. I'm trying to save your planets here. Oh, engage the one of their fleets. Let's see. Let's see what's going on. Pause, pause. Let's do the fight. Oh, they died, finally. So we're out of one war? Yes, we're out of one war now. Ooh, those are two big fleets of theirs. Good. That should be a lot of war exhaustion for them. Yep, I care, it's not mine. Our forces are made planet fall. I feel like you just subbed last week, didn't you, Mozidium? But thank you for the 37 months. <laughs> How are you? Just Twitch being Twitch. <laughs> ah, Twitch being Twitch. You still play Final Fantasy, Mal? Haven't, haven't heard you play Final Fantasy in a while. Every time you come, you have a sub notification. <laughs> it's a feature, not a bug, right? It's a happy feature. Just like in DBD, it's not bugs, they're features. An enemy planet has been secured. into 3M Savage trying to do mechanic. Oof. I'm guessing that's like the uh, the hardest difficulty for the dungeons or whatever. I don't I haven't played Final Fantasy before so I said the sort of this is like mythic but the news on their fleets now. Sure it'd be nice if we could just go tag this or something, you know? That would be nice. I don't have to do everything. So the fleet taken down. Fantastic.
And they have a big fleet, but we have a lot more territory that they have to cover. So in the end, we have more territory than they, they do. And we can fight them a lot better than they can fight us. Really, they're gonna jump to the gateway. That's annoying. Wait, can I just jump there? Go, go, go. Of course, we didn't get there in time. Damn it. Should have seen that coming. Shouldn't they just got another gateway over there? Alright, fleet 2, do you have enough to fight this big 190k fleet? Sort of. Sort of. Research I know it's Saturday, complete. right? Yay! It's going pretty good. We're fighting a big fight. We haven't even got to the crisis yet and I'm already struggling. I like that the, they, they made the AI better, Malzita, so the, the enemy fights better now. Uh, they just keep doing this. There is no reason to take over the system. They're just doing it just to be annoying. But hey, we got some fleets coming in. Fantastic. Yeah, the AI is a lot better now. Just doing what I do. I always kill them. I'm gonna try to take over this side. We need to we need to stop one side from expanding. Oh, they left, so I guess I'll go there then. Grand and serious contingents, trade value plus fifteen. I mean, that's a deal. 80 years. It's pretty much a bargain. Even if I don't have trade value, it's totally fine. Look, like I'm chasing this fleet down the galaxy. Jump, jump, jump. Quickly. We stop this one fleet. Fantastic. It's one less annoyance to fight. Hey, good afternoon, Hammond. How are you? How is Norway? It's not Norway, right? It's Sweden. Or did I get it right? God damn it, now, now, now you make me question my memory. I was right the right first time, damn it. <laughs> it's fine, I got it right. <laughs> Shouldn't doubt my own stuff. I saw, I saw some of your stuff in there that you, you made. Every time I log in, like, wait, I haven't logged in, I see some of the research, research is done. We're gonna do the whole square building on that playthrough. This has been an intense fight in this game here. How do we actually stop that fleet? Good. Forces have made planet fall. Research complete. Just jump there, we need to stop this. Even if it's just one fleet, we can stop that if we just jump in.
by your 180k. This is a risky thing here to jump in, but they only had one flute. That's okay. Oh, we got two fleets, even better. An enemy planet has been secured. Yep, liberating our planets here. Good, good, good. Let's liberate this one. Okay. I'm not sure the whole purpose of this war was all about. They just wanted to fight us. Hey, we've got a lot of experience out of this war, which is great. I oh, can't use the hyper relay anymore, buddy. Yep, you lost the system. Gotta use the hyper lanes like a peasant. But you're not gonna get a chance to run. You're gonna die. Yep, try to escape. Didn't work. Splat. We have beginners questions about ship weapons. Is it best to focus on one weapon type on a ship? All lasers to do a mix of weapons. It depends on what your enemy uh, ships are like. Game is stuck up. When I'm just playing against the AI, I just I just do full on uh, disruptors and archimeters. I listen to the next patch because they're they're introducing something called shield hardening next patch. We're just gonna change the whole meta of the game because then ships, this armor penetration is gonna have an actual resistance against it. But I don't know if the AI is gonna be using them or not. But it all depends on what your ship what enemies are fighting. If you're fighting the Crisis, then you wanna. Depends on what Crisis you're fighting as well. If you're fighting the Unbidden, Shield and Armor Penetration are gonna be great against the Crisis. If you're fighting against the Praetorian, then you wanna use anything that does a lot of damage to hull and armor because they don't have any shields. If you're fighting Contingency, then I, get, I think just long range weapons do great against the contingency. It, it, it all depends what empire you're fighting. Against the AI, you, you probably will be fine with just armor penetration. Enemy's forces spotted so, on the planet. Yeah. Oh shit, they broke through over here. Damn it. People are not even warn me about it. Just gonna jump in there and stop it. You guys supposed to engage this fight. What are you doing over here? Yeah, it's supposed to be all on aggressive. Killing me here, smalls. The moment AI gun full lasers and corvettes and destroyers. Okay. Yeah, usually you can I just leave an auto design in the beginning, honestly, until I get to the part where it actually gets to the end game. Because the ships, the, the the weapons are so minuscule in difference in the beginning of the game that it really doesn't matter that much. So I just I just leave it on auto design in the beginning. It doesn't make that much of a difference. Alright, let's see, can we stop any of this on this side? Because it looks like we're finally breaking through their their attacks, they're, they're running out of ships here. Yeah, they, my ally can take over this on empty systems, I'm just going after their fleets. The enemy has captured our planet. Not for long. Oof, 
they're fighting my entire fleet here. Look these guys. Yeah, thank you for the fall. Splat, splat, splat. They're struggling against my star base here. I guess I don't even need to defend it. <laughs> I'll get the XP anyway. Yeah, we're turning this war around. They're they're running they're running out of ships. Fantastic. So yeah, the war exhaustion is catching up to ours as well. Number two, you get to get here, okay? Our forces have made planet fall. Gotta stop them somewhere. They still have access to this gateway? No, we have it. Okay, good. So I'm gonna go over here, stop this site. fight over here. They just claimed this planet so I can stop them before they get too big. Sorry about that, they could just hit the microphone. An enemy planet has been secured. the nail of the coffin for this guy here. They had a bigger fleet, but they didn't understand how to fight properly, so... I think we got him. Oh, that was a pretty good fight, though, and AI had a significant good fleet. Fleet over here. If we're lucky, we could stop them, but. Yeah, I think that one got away. That's okay. Let's okay. liberate this planet. Looks like it just got liberated. Fantastic. Let's liberate this planet. Now they're down to having just this. Good. I'm gonna be a gateway patroller with this main fleet. The smaller one is gonna do the pushing. They could use the XP here. Oh, you guys are so sad right here. This fleet. The side is second to protect it, right? So I can go actually engage them over here. So if they jump in on any of these gateways, I'm gonna uh, stop them. Our forces have made planet fall. Yeah, it looks like my ally is taking care of his own system, so I don't have to worry about it. I need to stop their main fleets because they have some. Yeah, that's a big fleet right there. They're reamassing their forces. Yeah, look at that. Look at this fleet, guys. AI is playing better. 
that they used to. That's 190k fleet. Ah, uh, yeah, they're coming here. Let's let's go say hi to them then. Research complete. So we're gonna need our full force over there. Whole fleet into one. It's time to just fight their main armada once and for all. Fighting their main armada. It's Doomstack versus Doomstack. Oh god damn it, there's a juggernaut over here. At least I'm not gonna lose my entire fleet to a stupid juggernaut, or my army rather. Retreat, retreat, retreat. Please run. Ugh. Gosh darn it. Didn't want to lose my army to this. Survive 10 days, armies. Survive 10 days, please. Yay. I gotta stop this before they, they retake this side again. Right there. Okay, jump over here and go land in there, please. Gotta stop them from expanding. Okay, if we can just keep them under this little corner, it'd be much better. I don't know why my allies struggling to get this back. There's like nothing there, there's nobody there. Corvettes is super eager to join you in the fight, but I'm not gonna survive on your own, buddy. Our forces have made kind of thought. You can stop that and come back right away. We might be able to be fine over here. Let's get the trigger not very quickly. Good. Look good, good. Finish that quickly. Alright, turn around. Quickly. Yeah, because they came back. Yep. Hurry, hurry. Oh, I ended up getting bored of those borders. Okay, let's throw my strongholds here then. No, strongholds. Oh, 
there's no point in putting a single stronghold here, so just do a research institute. Come on, don't let them jump in. Go over there, please. Yeah, stop this. God, if they get through here, this is gonna open the whole can of worms again. Come on, stop him. Did we get him? I think we got him. We got him. Awesome. And now we're gonna fight one little wave at a time, too. An enemy planet has been secured. This person over I don't know what that was, it just passed, but doesn't matter. That had to be a huge detriment to their or exhaustion. Yeah, we just massacred like four big fleets. Yeah, the war exhaustion is catching up. We should be able to turn this war around. Yeah, they only have a 600k here. Yeah, that's only 600k. We can take them. Go, go, go. Liberating this planet. Good. We are here ready to jump. Okay. Gotta jump. It's horrible, but we gotta jump right into the battle. Encounter battle right there. Turn this war around. Where did their main fleet go? Okay, their main fleet just went somewhere. Okay, uh oh. <laughs> yeah, they're they're nowhere near my borders. Where'd they go? Oh, there they are. Okay, so this is their main fleet. What's left of them? Guess yeah, so we're gonna play Chase the Big Fleet. Oh, they went for this. Fleet. That's what happened. They went for this fleet over here. So there is a gateway. So if I can get to this gateway Research and use the gateway, we can stop this once and for all. An enemy planet has been secured. We gotta rush to this gateway, use the gateway, and we might be able to get lucky here. It's a it's a race for time right now. Yeah, just quickly deal with this two, go to the gateway, and jump and stop them. Fast enough. That's okay, we can still stop them. Research complete. All the reinforcements coming here.
Eloy's gotta be selling just for so much right now because they're oh, not actually not that bad. I'll buy some then. Nice. Our forces have made planet fall. Is your main fleet is still here? You cleaned your room? Nice, jelly friend. Oh, their whole fleet is just sitting here. This is it, chat. We need, we need the Imperial song, fleet fighting. Hang on. Oh, this song works, shit. This is the set. This is the fight to end the war. It's, it's big dome stack against okay dome stack. It. This is a big fight. Get him. That was your plan? Get him? <laughs> I just watched rewatched Ghostbusters actually yesterday, Jelly Friend. It was on uh, I think it was on Hulu. Yeah, fight, fight, fight. Yeah. The fleet has been lost. Be more careful next time. reinforcement is fine. The fleet has been lost. Be more careful next time. Yeah, where is this fleet being lost? Where, what's going on? Hang on, put them pause this real quick. Yeah, it's just reinforcements. Okay. Hey, this Corvette leader was super ambitious. Enemy planet has been secure. Yeah, we totally got this fight, but it's just gonna be a lot of losses though. But it's a big doom stack against another huge doom stack. Still alive! Corvettes here are still alive, just harassing the back background. They did it. The little Corvette fleet survived. Amazing. Look at the size of that fight. Love it. Yeah, there goes your war exhaustion. Time to submit for humiliation victory. There we go, I can achieve where it goes, I humiliate them. That was a humiliation on my part. They were trying to vassalize me, and I my war goes like humiliation. So they don't get anything, they lose diplomatic power, and they <laughs> lose their influence a month. And we win the war. Victory. That's right. Get wrecked, buddy. Get fucking wrecked. <laughs> awesome. Time to rebuild. War has been won. We shall rebuild. Let's go ahead and clear some of this border gore. I don't want this system here. Let's give you... Fucking Mar. That's not the one that I want to give them. Sargas. Yeah, let's give you Sargas because I don't want that border either. I don't like the border gore, so let's clear this up. I'm gonna keep this because these have planets and I need the planets. We won, chat. We won against an overwhelming fleet power because they didn't know how to fight another inferior. Let's just rival them now and make it official. So, how does it feel to be a absolute annihilated in a war, huh? How did it feel? <laughs> yeah. Get wrecked, buddy. Get wrecked. And this guy, this is one of them responsible for this horribleness. Gonna make you uh... Oh, you're already a vassal with somebody. Who are you a vassal of? This purple empire. You will not support secret fealty. I will support your independence then. Should you wish to fight for independence, we shall free you. Yeah, he's, he's not very happy that we just mop their fleets off the face of the galaxy. This would be a terrible time for the crisis to spawn. Because the galaxy is not ready for a crisis at all. Oh, 
I think I can use the bathroom. Please don't spawn the crisis while I'm gone. Search complete. Maybe enough price is what I was going to have. Good. We had the Imperial Fleet plane just as we win the war. That was perfect timing. Strong sun today out. Uh, this would be a good good day to oh, it looks like I have my DD game tonight. Yay! We haven't played in person in a while, so that's good. That's cool. Alright chat, so I need suggestions for my D&D game today, right? For anybody who is familiar with the Pathfinder universe, so it's D&D but it's the Pathfinder, the system. I need a creature that has a mental component. These have to be giant creatures that are easy to kill but they're just large. I need a creature that has a giant mental component, a creature with a giant physical component but very weak minded. And I need a creature that is giant. But has an ethereal aspect, but is very weak minded and weak ethereal. Does anybody who has played Pathfinder that can help me out on that one? Because that's what I was going to do after a stream today look for those creatures, because it's part of something that I'm doing with the players today. And I kind of want to, I needed some, uh, some help figuring that out. So now that we have this war over, we won both wars against this guy who had a ridiculously good power. But they're rebuilding now, yeah, there's no escaping from what he did. 
you want to get any more vessels out of this after all this hap happened? No, I can't vassalize you, you're pretty strong. Can you invite to the Federation? Yeah. You fully endorse my pickles. You block and chat. You fully endorse my boss fight plan, but you're not Pathfinder little enough to help? No worries. Research complete. I can still take some ideas though, Jelly Friend. Like, would you would you think it would be better for me to just create my own monster for them to fight? So it's like, it's not something they can just get a... Because normally when you fight monsters in Pathfinder, you can get like a knowledge roll. And you can kind of like get figure out what this creature is about. I could just make up my own monster, right? Like as a DM, I've never done that before. I've always just used pre-made monsters. So maybe it could be fun if I just made my own horrible monster that they have to fight. So it would be like that Munchkin card, Monster the DM created, you know? <laughs> there, I know there was a Munchkin card that had that Monster the DM created. So it could be fun. I completely forgot I had this. That would have helped a lot last fight. Yep. Nice. Might as well use this then. Level 8. Alright, let's make a level 9. Three phases where it's one really large monster, but the first phase is physical, the second is mental, and the third is ethereal. There you go. Yeah, I'm gonna do that, Jelly Friend. I like that. I like that idea. <laughs> like, wait, but it's not over. You kill the first phase, but it's not over yet. <laughs> oh, now you play Agent Secret Field too. Nice. Oh, the, this guy's full collapsing. Fantastic. Then you could just use states from generic hard monsters in each of those categories, but physically it's one nameless blob of hell. I like it. Because I have a player that I always feel bad because uh, their character is all about using mental stats. And lately all I've been throwing at them is just undead and blobs and everything, so she never has a chance to fully use her character. So I want to fight where her attacks do like 300% more damage. This thing has like a lot of hit points, but damage from mental attacks would do a lot more damage to it. So I want her to feel like, oh, my character is really good for this one part of the fight. You know, like I, I want, I want that. I like to throw that kind of stuff where the players just don't feel like they just go from one combat to another without no feeling like they're helping at all. And I hate that. Uh, so I like to, everybody should be having a good time at the game. So I gotta change that today. Yeah, there's gonna be this part of the fight where any mental attacks will be really, really good against this monster. So we'll see. Our ships have been made. But yeah, but right now I they are inside this factory that is like a soil and green factory where they they recycling bodies to make uh, food for the masses when the when the when the atomic war broke out, and they're gonna find like a small call center there that is populated with zombies. This this call center that I have, Jelly Friend, is gonna be a bunch of zombies sitting on a bunch of uh, cubicles. They, 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 and there's like gonna be like uh, broken keyboards that they're typing in. Their hands are gonna be all gone because they, they've been so zombified during the the blast. They just kept typing mindlessly. So like there's like this hole on the table where they keep keeping hitting for hundreds of years. <laughs> Some of them are gonna be just fully full skeletons, but they're all sitting in a call center. There's gonna be this one creature shouting orders at the call center, not doing anything at all. It's just sitting there. It sounds like your job. <laughs> there you go. So yeah, it's gonna be like a... Because I've, I've worked at Call Center for nine years. So like, how can I incorporate that into my game? So it's gonna be something like a boss shouting orders. And they's gonna still be alive by some sort of like mind control thing. A tier metaphor for capitalism. There you go. A tier metaphor. There you go. Yep. So it's gonna be great. And you know how I'm also gonna pull the hard strings also today, Jelly Friend. There's gonna be a a part of where they're after they're done with this factory, they're gonna get into this school that was ground zero for the for the waves of the atomic blast. So they're gonna find a lot of tiny skeletons on their school desks 
I wonder how bad that's gonna pull at their heartstrings for them. Is that horrible? Because I have to pull at their heartstrings, and at some point those skeletons are gonna come to life and start attacking them. <laughs> Is that horrible or what? Because they're they're in the ruins of an atomic fallout city, and they just they're just watching what's left of the of the civilization. And I'm also using stuff from because this is a homebrew. They're also this whole thing is a ring world that has been destroyed by an atomic uh, war. So there are primitives who were raised in a ring world. <laughs> Too real to be honest. I know, right? But I gotta pull the heartstrings. Gonna be like, you see what appears several strange wooden desks everywhere. <laughs> new boss is an, a newly appointed office manager trying to leave his mark in the workplace. Yep, there you go. You notice how that's like, that's like a common thing in every job? There's always the nepotism where somebody in the family inherited that job position but they have absolutely zero experience and they, they keep asking for all the help and support of the people who work under them as if they actually matter at all to this person. It feels like that's every job has nepotism. Have you noticed that? At least in America where Somebody comes in like, hey guys, let's get all the numbers done, right? Let's get those numbers high. And I'm like, okay, and what are you doing to help that? It feels like that's that's like a prevalent thing in every single job. It's like a manager who just got hired has nothing. Yeah, fall, failing upwards, exactly. But it feels like that's so prevalent in the US, it's kind of weird. Let's finish the mega shipyard, or the desk here, rather. I don't need the mega. I don't need to finish this at all. Remove this. Then science nexus. Yeah, the good thing I came out of this world. Look at my emeralds. They're almost all level ten. This is fantastic. That's a terrifying fleet to fight. Yeah, whenever we have to fight anybody here with this fleet, look at this. Weapons range and unyielding. Fighting this emeralds, I would cry if you fight this emerald right here. 96. Oof. Bunch of level 10 emeralds just showing off. Research complete. Finish that uh, other Kimenopolis. Good. I'm surprised this place has not gotten much stronger than 200k, honestly. I think my research has been so terrible this game. Yeah, only 6k. I gotta get that research up. I also need naval capacity like crazy, so I have to find a balancing act here. But for now, I, think I just need a lot of naval capacity. Oh, there's a mode harvesting. Can't let that go. Our ships have been made. Less often. Now in here, I can throw alloy or combats, obviously. Then Alloy Industries already has this civilian industries. Do I have it already enough for mystery reproduction? I do not. Let's drop in a penal colony here. We're just crime all around. I'm gonna throw a precinct in here. Penal colony also brings a lot of immigration, which is kinda nice. So it brings 33% immigration pull. So it's not just all about the reducing the crime, but it also brings a lot of people. So I'm going to save one slot here for Ministry of Production, but I also need that crystals. Which I hate using slots for those, but we'll leave two slots open in case we need something else over here. Yeah, 
Definitely didn't need this much house in the game. Or here. Oof, look at the crime over here. Bring some of the people from the core over here, or from here as well. It's all the head jobs over here. Oh, they're just taking their time. Oh, I relocated to the wrong one. It's not a moron. It's me, Dark Prime, that I need to relocate, not this one. Derp. So this guy's technically a Wiccan Empire that we could fight, just annihilate them if we wanted to, but... Yeah, they're awake, but they're not doing anything. So who cares? I just hope that the fact that they're awakened might awake this Empire as well. But... I love that. Brands! <laughs> the glory. Brands! <laughs> you guys heard that, right? When you click enough on this empire, you get the friends notification. when you speak up to the Blorg, this little portrait, with the friends. It's so cute. <laughs> Galatron? Nope. Galatron? Nope. Galatron? No. Come on. Okay, it's enough money wasted there. Alright, so now we're we're in the part of the game where we just wait for the crisis to spawn. But this guy here proved to be quite quite scary on that war. And they're rebuilding their fleets. Look, look at their fleet sides over here. Research I mean they lost the war with this much fleet power, but my arrows are higher level. Yeah. I mean they level up their arrows too, but they got beat up. Please don't even have an ammo. Yeah, they're, most of their level is 7. Mine are all, almost level 10. I'm gonna start maybe focusing this a little bit myself instead of letting the AI control this, because they're not really putting the right stuff on this. Okay, finish that one, then we'll go.
Do there's effectively more to the stage? Uh, they're pretty old, but not necessarily immortal. They're just very good. They can still die of old age. I mean, it's 150 years into the game. I think I've researched enough. Increased lifespan, life, uh, life expectancy for everybody. They might be a survive long enough time. Hope they survive the crisis though. Their protectorate. Research complete. Let's give them an aid agency. Help out some of this uh, smaller empires prosper as well. Okay, we have already have a five K. It's not not a lot, but I can give you some alloys to help out. Some money to buy whatever you want. Why oh, you don't need money? Okay, minerals then. Oh, you want minerals? Okay, very good. I'm gonna control this research a little bit by hand. Oh, they got crime on their borders. That's not good. Um, you guys gonna build some mining there eventually, or what? That's why they needed minerals, because they don't have. They didn't develop any minerals here. Can I choose what they want to do, or...? Some more exotic gas. So I don't know what you do in this game anymore, other than just wait out the crisis. There's no reason to expand anymore. Wish this guy would join a federation, though. Am I seeing poor relations? No. Like into the next Gothic community, though. Oh, but that's so far off. Never mind. the care of the pirates, so I don't have to worry about it. They're like, experience! Please give it to me. <laughs> Can you get there in time before they die to the star base? Should 
Ancient Care. Don't worry. Fantastic. It's not number two. I don't need that one anymore. Martial Dyson Sphere and Science Nexus. Did I finish the Mega Art installation? I think I did. I did finish. Okay. Okay, so what, what mega structure should I build next? I already have one of everything, I think. Except... Did I build Interstellar Assembly? I don't think I built Interstellar Assembly. Let's find out. I did not. There we go. Build that one then. Get us Diplo Power. Secure place in the Galactic Community. Traders. Is that the guy we were just fighting? No, that's this guy right here. Yeah, let's get this guy in our federation. How far are we to get in the- Oh, you're in a war. Fighting against- Oh, that's the fair fight. You're fighting against this guy. Oh, you're in a war that you cannot get out of. That makes sense. Because somebody else occupied the system. Alrighty then. Is there anybody else here we can bring into the Federation? This guy's xenophobic, he's not gonna ever accept anything. Yep, doesn't accept education in any way, shape, or form. Yeah, this galaxy is very divided right now. When the crisis shows up, this might be the only friend I have. Oh well. I think I should probably build a ring world next, just for food. Yes, this is cheap. And some more goods. And I've actually burned through my minerals too. I have a full built matter decompressor and I'm still needing more minerals. Yeah, it is fully built, 2000. Thanks. I could get a nefarious acquisition that would solve, but any more unity then. Let's use it. Let's use it for now. And eventually I should be able to counter them. Trading options are more vicious than Wall Street. <laughs> Gotta buy all the stuff. Buy, buy, buy. And then dump all that into the market. Now let's fix this resources here. I don't like having to buy those on the market. Making a lot of energy, but I'd rather use the energy for something more important. Looks like this is all about chemical modes over here, so let's stick to it. In my star base, I can do anything to help out. Oh, yeah, I got the ring worlds over here, too. Orbital rings, not ring worlds, either. Let's use it. You play only evolved tall strategy, like 40, 60 planets, and 6 star systems, whole game. Nice. That sounds like fun. Yeah, 
suppose I could build some more orbital rings on all my planets. We have a ton of planets that I have not developed properly. Nothing to do with all this extra influence. Let's get a little bit more health fidelity. Last time devour a whole galaxy or defending yourself for 200 years. Root. So you're playing the turtle mode, that's what I'm hearing. There's no other ter yep, I don't have detox or the hydrocentric, so I cannot terraform these. Probably should have got uh I'll say detox on this one, but yeah. Yeah, that would that would not have been a good idea. This these are big planets, but it's only seven planets for a whole ascension trait. Yeah, I'm gonna try to just keep what I had. Over here, let's throw more. Is that a guess? Is that a guess? Hey, DDG, how's it going? Yeah, doing okay. Just streaming the weekends now. Love my weekly job. Got a pretty, pretty fun job and a lot of really fun people to be around. A bit of growth failed, huh? What can we vote on to help out my. Uh, Naval cap. Is there anything I can vote? Oh, greater good. Let's vote for five year plans. Let's already set active resolution greater than ourselves. Let's vote in favor of this. Sprinkles. Can I help you, buddy? No? Okay. Just gonna chill there and say hi to the stream. Good boy. Good boy. Yeah, no, I've been there since August now. It's a pretty, pretty fun job. I like it. It's data entry. It seems like a very simple job, but it's a lot of fun. It's very stimulating. Research complete. And I'm doing like 50 hours a week, pretty much. Getting paid a lot of overtime. It's, I think this is the first job I've ever had that actually pays overtime. Most jobs that I've worked in the past, they're all salary, so they made you work like 45 to 50 to 60 hours, and you never get paid anything extra. This one, people actually treat you like a human being and actually give you money for your overtime, so it feels nice. So it's much, it's definitely different than having to try to survive off streaming. You know, living on five hundred to a thousand dollars a month from streaming, going to a regular job that pays three thousand a month. So I'm okay with the three thousand a month. <laughs> much better. It's actually survivable. too quickly there yeah no paid over time I love it <laughs> and I don't have to do a uh, call center job that I hated it I hated that customer customer support the entry is simple you just deal it's just you and the computer and your friends around you yeah it's great 
Yeah, every job should be overtime. I don't know why not everybody does. It's kind of crazy that it doesn't. You're building something already. Let's not stop the construction shit. Research complete. What happened? Now it's all positive again. Yeah, wasn't it like negative? Oh, it's because they did Omniferous acquisition. That's what happened. Derp. I don't answer my own question. Been you thinking about trying to get a job like that? It seems easy, but since you don't have the internet at home, it's where you kind of like trapped. Okay. Yeah, no, go to for data entry jobs, DDG. They're pretty straightforward. And you might get lucky and find somewhere that actually pays decent. Though. Nice sprinkles. You know that you did that to yourself, buddy. There we go. So it's here completed. Nice. Cats being cats. Speaking of cats, there's pickles. <laughs> pickles. Kind of blocking the whole chat, pickles. Hold on. Good kitty. Oh, I see something that you might be able to play here. Doesn't even care. There we go, that cares. Get it, sprinkles. <laughs> can we can you guys see sprinkles? Barely. There. That's what you guys are here to see sprinkles, right? Sanctions. Yeah, we can, we can be behind that. Mm -hmm. Research complete. We'll make your little ties for this. Look at those claws. <laughs> Some serious claws. But you know you have a lot of time. Oh, you don't like that, huh? It's too bad. <laughs> oh, buddy, you're too cute. There, I have a lot of time. Chip 
It's like, but, but, but. He's probably gonna untie his tie. Let's see it. What a fun watch. Get it, sprinkles. What's my uh, opinion for my uh, vassals? Oh yeah, I forgot about the divided patronage thing. I might reform my government just to counter that. But that would hurt my empire a little. Hmm. I might have to annex some of these vassals in to my empire then. I didn't want to do it, but I guess I'm gonna have to annex this guy. Permitted. Yeah, we're bringing them back into the fold. Research complete. I was trying to just keep the little vassal, but I need it. I need to annex them back. I forgot about the divided patronage thing. Find them agreeable. Let's integrate you then. Six years. Six years? Six years. <laughs> Almost got it, Sprinkles. Almost got it, buddy. No, you never, you never actually realize how much crap you have in your house until you have to move. Has everybody ever noticed that? As I'm getting ready to move, because I, I want, I want to sell this house because the house is just too big for me for one person, and I do not want to live with roommates anymore. Like, oh my god, I get so much crap. I'm like, why do I even have this stuff? So I, I'm just to give an idea. I'm giving away a couch. Two mattresses. I have a stand. I have four freaking TVs to give away. I'm like, why do I even have four TVs? I have not used a TV in years. It's just like small TVs just sitting in the cabinet. I'm giving away like a TV stand that you used to eat by the couch. I have, I have a, a, um, yeah, just for whatever reason, it's just sitting. It was just in a closet, and then I have a bed to give away on top of those two mattresses. And I just gotta get rid of all this stuff. When you were moving from your apartment to your home, you were like, what the hell? You kind of look clean freaks, so you were shocked. Yeah, I kind of like to keep everything clean as well. And I had so much crap, but I've been still cleaning. I think I spent the last month just throwing away stuff. Because there's this... I, I was gonna give away two couches, but the one couch downstairs, Sprink was just been shitting and peeing on it. Because uh, I had a roommate... Uh, she would come home drunk and sit on that couch, smelling and horrible. And because she sat on that one spot on the couch, Sprinkles thought that was the smell of his litter box, so he started peeing on that couch, so I had to end up just throwing the couch away. So I've been slowly breaking it into pieces and throwing the couch away altogether. But yeah, learn, lesson learned, I'm never gonna have strange uh, roommates, period. I might be having my niece moving in soon. Actually, uh, that's forgot to tell you, Bungie, that my niece is moving into Brazil uh, from Brazil to here. She was actually born around here where I, where, uh, where I live, and she's just moving back. 
with her husband and she might need a place to stay so for now she's starting with my, she's gonna stay with my, my parents and then eventually she might live with me and i'm like well as long as you pay rent and you help clean the house totally fine her husband does not have like a a visa or anything so he's gonna have to apply for a green card and see amanda's an american citizen so they're being married it should take like a month and then she gets the green card because you know she was she was born here where i live so She's just lived in she she lived in Brazil her childhood and teenage years, got her degree in forensic science. Uh, yeah, she's she's gonna be like a forensic pathologist and you know, all goes to crime scenes and figures out what happened. That's pretty cool. I hope she she has no issues finding a job, <laughs> especially here where I live where there's like a high crime zone. So she she would have no trouble finding a job. It's gonna be helping solve crimes and shit. So yeah, if I can get my niece to move in with me, that'd be fantastic. Because her husband is like eager to do all sorts of like work and fix houses, and he's actually like a, he's like a, body, a personal trainer, or whatever. And so I can also maybe get in shape again, because I am terribly in bad shape. That shape being not, I don't want to, don't want to be around anymore. Kind of want to get in shape again. Now that the money situation, health situation is good. Next step, take care of my health. <laughs> Because I like to be healthy too. Like I could care less about appearances, I'm just doing it just to be healthy. In middle of a pandemic, you want to stay healthy, right? <laughs> so yeah, life is good. For once. <laughs> it's great. And convents, convents. Need more food. More food. More consumer goods. So, that's this year is done. Your seller assembly. Let's get started on that. I guess I might as well start a ring world, right? Even a clean freak can still be a pack rat at times, but you never realize until you pull everything out. Oh yeah. You're not even a pack rat, you just didn't know you own a lot of do to be organized and start. Yeah. And I'm I'm do I'm still doing mass purging. Like it's, I don't have enough space in the trash to throw everything I'll I want out all at once. So every every week that it goes by and i'm, I'm just hoping my real estate agent doesn't get too upset with me because he's been very patient and waiting for me to get the house ready for sale but uh the house bungee that there's also other thing like a house that was like two two houses over sold for like twenty thousand less than what i'm asking on my house and their house is like 300 square foot smaller than my house so they have a smaller house and it's sold almost for what i'm asking my house so I'm like, wow, that's pretty impressive. I'll call a junk guy. Yeah, you know, I probably should do that. So I'm very happy. But if I can sell this house for what I want, Bungie, then I can go buy somewhere smaller and just live mortgage free, which is the dream. Can you imagine being 42 and having no mortgage? Because I turned 42 in December. I'm 41 right now. But my dream is to have, live mortgage free next year. And I'll be like, every, every money I make, I can just go go on vacation whenever I want to, because I can just easily pay for a pet sitter. That'd be fantastic. Oh, let's get a Zark one here. Max the tax benefits. Oh, whatever. I I, I can save five thousand. <laughs> I can save five thousand a year to pay the the property taxes. That's that's not a big deal considering that won't be, won't have a mortgage to pay anymore. Yeah, my dad has been living mortgage free for, for the last three, four years now. And he says the life is good. Once you don't have a mortgage, you're like, yeah, no shit. <laughs> That's why I'm trying to sell the hands. God, I can't wait. be so much easier I don't have to worry about money period you either your student loans be gone then your mortgage 
Um, now that I took care of on my early 30s. I, I'm done with my student loans. I don't have any car loans. So the only thing I have left is my mortgage. Once I get mortgage paid off, I'll be so happy. Yeah, just we're just gonna have to do utilities and whatever. Then I don't have to worry about if I'm gonna have enough money at the end of the month or be the life. Yeah, once I pay a mortgage in my house, I'm like, okay, I guess I'll buy a new car because I will have all the money in the world to just go and buy a new car. And my car is nice, so I don't need to replace my car. My car is, is a 2015 Fiesta, and it's been just fine for me. That, that, that little car can do just fine. I don't need to worry about replacing it anytime soon. Some satellite campuses on this. So yeah, right now I'm, I'm making enough money for my job that I don't have to worry about getting roommates anymore, which is fantastic. I never thought I'd be able to say that, not having to rely on having other people sharing my living space. Oh my god, Bungie, what a relief it is to just have the house to yourself. It's like life-changing it's super peaceful yep definitely not I, i've learned my lesson the money was okay having but oh my god the stress for having please don't do this to my house please leave don't leave stuff on the dishes please clean the carpet please don't use my steam cleaner to vacuum <laughs> oh my god please don't put soap on the dishwasher oh my god <laughs> just insanity having to live with roommates never again never ever again unless it's somebody i trust 100 percent when i lived with my friend like she was amazing it was a great great roommate like we respect each other's privacy it was fantastic but complete strangers never again never <laughs> doesn't matter how much they want to pay me even they want to pay me three thousand a month nope not getting roommates ever again i'm good oh hey finally shut down that bridge office <laughs> and immediately the good one opened right open there. Awesome. You sure miss the constant streams, but you won't you won't lie, my health and financial situations always come first before. Oh yeah. I'm still doing every weekend though the TG. So even though I'm not streaming during the week and even I I noticed through the numbers too from the streaming during the week, it was not the same. Like I've noticed now that I'm back to streaming on the weekends again, my average viewership got to like 65 which isn't something i've never noticed before but when i was doing through through the week when nobody really cared because there's so many people already streaming at that period of time that I, my average was like 18 to 20. now i'm getting like 65 average viewers like that's pretty awesome i think it was two weekends ago i had like 132 people in chat i'm like what did i do why is there 132 people here yeah because <laughs> i miss you during the week there you go <laughs> So I show up on the weekend. The weekend is nice too, because you, you, you're not doing anything. You can just leave this as a background noise. You just put it on your TV while you do your cooking, cleaning in the house. You know, I think the weekend is just better. And on the weekend, I'm not stressed out. Of course, the fact that I'm not stressed out trying to get money off of the stream is just streaming for fun. I'm, I'm sure y'all can see that too, that I'm not, no longer all freaking out over money anymore. It's nice. <laughs> Yeah, trying to survive stream is fun and it's the dream most people have. Like, yeah, you gotta just survive off stream, but realistic, unless you're already big on Twitch, you're not gonna you're not gonna survive just off of streaming alone. And I don't want to turn into the kind of streamer that has like advertising everywhere on the stream. And unfortunately, those are the people that make it on streaming, right? The people who put in like, buy this energy drink, buy this chair, buy this thing, buy this dad. Here's a sponsor game that I don't care about. I don't want to be that kind of streamer, you know, because that, those are the, even though those are the people who make it and they make enough money streaming, I'd rather just be a chill place to you know, talk to people, play the games I want to play, so. Lesson learned. I'm probably not going to try to stream full time again unless something absolutely miracle happens on that. I just happen to get all of a sudden a thousand subscribers. Maybe I'll switch to full time again, but. If that doesn't happen naturally, I'll just continue to stream for fun. Let it be. No stress at all. 
streaming should just be a fun thing, not something you're stressing over all the time. <laughs> Rage Shadow Lanterns, oh my god, stop. <laughs> it's not an effort to stream all the time, understand that? Do you make like 3000 a month for streams and yeah, you wouldn't worry about it? Yeah. No. Now that I'm actually making 3000 a month from my job, that is super chill and relaxing. There, there's a, a cookout right right in front of where I work. I can get milkshake for there for like three dollars anytime I work. I can go on my break, get a milkshake every every day if I want to. And I'm like, damn, this is dangerous for my health. <laughs> milkshake with the access when I make enough money that I can easily buy the milkshake there every every week I want to. And I love their milkshake. Cook, cookout milkshakes are the best. You miss cookout? You have to drive to Virginia to get it. Oh my god. I feel sorry for you, Demajida. I pity your misery. I'm sorry. That is very unfortunate. Okay, I want to build some ring worlds. Because apparently now I have the resources of the ring worlds. Uh, this would be a good spot for it, because there's nothing here. Oh. I don't have entrance for that. Well, darn it. Bungie, that, uh, do you remember, I want to say, 5-10 years ago and Cookout had those BLTs for like 75 cents? Do you, do you remember those? I would go during my uh, college years, right, buy like 10 BLTs <laughs> and be like, okay, here's $7 for 10 BLTs, bacon, lettuce, tomato, you know. It's a, it's a tiny burger, like a slider. You just buy 10 of those and just give up to your friends. Hey, do you want a BLT? Hey, do you want a BLT? I was literally the BLT dealer, just kept giving it to people in college because it was so much fun, just give those away. You had already left North Carolina by then? Okay. I never knew that you actually were in North Carolina at one point, Bungie, then. So at one point we shared the same state. If only we had knew each other then, we probably could have hang out. How far are we to next in this guy? Forty months. You're in Greensboro for three and a half years. Ah, that's where my sister lives. She lives by High Point, right next to Greensboro. I'm going there for Christmas, as a matter of fact, which is like thirty minutes from here. There's no food being made here, so that's not a big deal. You haven't been back since you graduated, but you miss it. Fun years indeed. But dude, is it normal for Greensboro to look the way that they do? Because I feel like every time I went to Greensboro, it feels like a city that has been abandoned. Like, I know that's a horrible thing to say about Greensboro, and I like the restaurants there. They have amazing restaurants. I went to like this Brazilian steakhouse place, it was really good. But I always feels like I, when I go there, it feels like everything is like abandoned buildings everywhere. I don't know what it is about Greensboro that rubs me the wrong way. I mean, I shouldn't be talking. I do love in Durham, so <laughs> there's a lot of abandoned buildings here too. But Greensboro, I don't know. I don't know if maybe the city used to live on a more uh, I don't know if Greensboro had like a more of a. They relied on some sort of other industry that doesn't exist there anymore. Oh, it was flourishing when you were there? I gotcha. Oh, this guy's fighting somebody. They're fighting the Retilio Mercantile Union. Who are those guys? Oh, they're fighting this tiny empire. Oh, so he couldn't pick on the big empire, so now he's gonna pick on the tiny ones. Okay. Research complete. 
Is anybody else fighting with you? You're the bulwark of the Transalari Free Traders. Wait, so you're gonna fight this guy? The guy who's stronger than me? The, so if I kicked your ass already, you're gonna pick on somebody who's even stronger? Yeah, this, this hive mind is a little crazy. <laughs> You know what you mean about enormous abandoned buildings? There's a few you've seen in your small town too. Yeah, I mean, COVID did, did some serious damage to restaurants. We, we, let's be honest. A lot of restaurants closed down because of COVID. There were so many that were really good restaurants that I love to go all the time that, it, of course, nobody could because of the, the pandemic. And they shut down, they just couldn't survive it. It's really sad. I'm just hoping that eventually there's some sort of like a resurgency because at the same time, right, when most restaurants failed, there's also the fact that a lot of people couldn't take vacations, so people have been saving their money by just being at home all the time. I, I put a lot of money into savings during the COVID years, which is why I tried the whole streaming thing and that didn't work out. And, but still. A lot of people are going to take some serious risks, maybe new things will open that didn't exist back then. So I'm hoping all this extra money gets to go somewhere important, like my money is going to go towards a new house. So when I sell this place, I go live somewhere mortgage free so I don't have any more debt myself. You always been a saver so COVID didn't change that for you? Gotcha. Yeah, I always try to never spend more than... 70 to 80 percent of what I make in a month. If I spend more than that, I immediately go into panic mode. Like I cannot, I should not ever be spending more than 70 percent of my income in a month, ever. And if I can get to 50, even better. Which I think this month I'm actually managed to get to 44 percent because I'm not used to making as much money as I've been for this new job. And it's really bizarre to me, like, wait a minute, I can actually just order delivery now? I have the money to order delivery? This is amazing. Which I did, I still went out and drove and picked up my food, but... <laughs> but I was like, I could afford a delivery fee, but why, why waste $18 when this is like two blocks away? And like, it's a kind of like small things, like it's only $18, I'm like, whatever, but... $18 times 10 times in a month, that's almost $200 already, so... Just being able to eat out again, it's so nice. <laughs> So many small things you take for granted when you have a regular job that you can't when you're broke. Yeah, just like coffee. I haven't done coffee like Starbucks. I used to do that when, when, when I was still with my ex. We go to Starbucks all the time. And like, man, that gets expensive. That little four or five dollars a day. Nope, that's twenty-five dollars a week. That comes down to two hundred dollars a month, or two hundred. $25 a month or whatever. No, $250 a month just from Starbucks. Like, nope. It's way too much money just wasted on coffee. I'm like, I can I can literally go to a, any grocery store, get a really good coffee that is much better than Starbucks for like $5 and last me six months. I just, it doesn't make any sense what I've ever, ever drink Starbucks again. It's just overpriced coffee that it's not even that good. <laughs> it's just... Not good. I'd rather have my own coffee. I can make my own coffee every morning. It's wonderful. Oh, but dude, and, and, and I'm doing ten hours a day in my new job. I'm getting paid. I'm getting paid overtime a lot for it. So I just I wake up super early. There's like no traffic on the way home. It's on the way to work, which is great. Yeah, when, when you have discretionary income, it's like, why not? But it adds up to ridiculous amount. Yeah, exactly. People just don't use their income properly. You're trying to stop your hunger spree like fast food. You don't remember why you started craving it so bad, but after several times you needed to stop. Yeah, once I stopped eating fast food, my, my income was so much easier to manage. And then also there's the whole eating healthier too because you start cooking your own food what'd you say casey got to see here entirely too tight basically to ever have this problem it's so easy to talk yourself to a five dollar purchase on the basis that you rather have the five pounds there you go no the dollars pounds yeah yeah i'm, I'm just always like yeah I, my my the only thing that i spoil myself with is the milkshake the milkshake that is like 
literally in the same parking lot where I work, I get the milkshakes. Like, whatever, that's a $3 milkshake. I get like twice a week. It's like, that's like $6. That's half of an hour of my paycheck. That I don't mind because that's something I eat while I'm at work. I don't wish to reward myself and I love their milkshake. And it's freaking $3 for a milkshake. I mean, come on. That one I, I won't spoil because it's. I get a milkshake that's right there, right at work. I don't have to make it myself. I just go get it. But eating out all uh, constant, I'm never doing that again. I'll always be cooking my own food until I have no more mortgage. Then I can go crazy and spend money. Because once I don't have any actual debts and I, all of my money is going to go through just a, a huge savings, then yeah, I'll go live life and enjoy it. But until that happens, meh. I can, I can live without going out all the time. Yeah, I just do it like twice a week, like Tuesday and Thursday, that's my uh, milkshake. It's always funny now because it's already been almost two months that I've been there. So I get to the, I, when I'm getting close to the cookout, because I walk there and, and the, I just hear the, the milkshake lady's here. I'm like, oh god, they already know me, that's the milkshake lady now, like, oh my god. <laughs> so they, 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 they already know what I'm going to order before I even get to the window, which is funny. <laughs> it's great. The milkshake lady. <laughs> And they open at 10.30, so I get there like 10.25, so they don't mind opening the 5 minutes early just to open it. You hand me a milkshake, because that takes no effort on their part. And I switch it around, like I was always getting the strawberry cheesecake milkshake, so now I'm getting the blueberry cheesecake milkshake. Oh my god, the blueberry one is so good. It's so fucking good. So that's why I want to start working now, because I gotta. I feel like that cheesecake is gonna build up very quickly on my sides. So I need to start thinking about working out. I think my income here has gotten a little better. I don't have to buy as much. Crystals, I think. Just that by 10. Bump this by 3. Okay, let's do Mr. Production here. And what else? Already has a precinct, so let's throw. Exotic, yes. Okay. Oh, I did not build an alloy foundry over here. Let's fix that problem. Oof. No, no residential. Foundry ecology. You need to exercise more. Just try to get yourself motivated to exercise. To be honest, you watch stream and walk on a treadmill if you had one. I always pick this joke around because everybody gets this. Everybody who's ever bought a treadmill would understand this. When you do buy a treadmill, make sure it matches the furniture in your house. Because at one point, it would just turn into a furniture. I I've, I've bought my treadmill, like, oh man, I'm going to be using this all the freaking time. Then I use it for six months, and now it's just a cloth hanger. It just sits there in my, in my bedroom as a cloth hanger, like, god damn it. <laughs> and it does match my furniture, because it's the same color as my furniture. So yeah, when you do buy yourself a a treadmill, make sure it matches your your furniture itself. I, I think I need to once once I get everything set up back in place in the new place. That's a little. I'm gonna just keep down the light to myself. I'll set up the treadmill right in the living room so that I, when I get home, I'm like okay, I need to exercise. It's I get home, I had a milkshake. I gotta work that extra weight out or something. But yeah, I, I want to get back into shape again. It was nice being able to you know, run and do exercise things. What do I want to throw in here? Another stronghold? Sort of stronghold. God, my naval capacity is so bad right now. There's a wave of battleships coming out.
if you can find a gym, find a list, get started with fast walking exercise. Ever since COVID, you've been 100% a hermit, so you really need to get up and exercise more. I hear ya. I'm so bad about working out. I'm gonna tell that, uh, because my niece, you know, she she just married a personal trainer, DTG, so if I'm gonna have them as a roommate, I'm like, hey, free personal trainer, sign me up. <laughs> I'll, I'll give you like $100 off a rent or something. You'd be my personal trainer, so I, sh I might have a personal trainer living with me soon. <laughs> so that'd be fantastic. So like, perfect. <laughs> future, future stay in shape. I have enough influence for uh, yeah, I can build a ring world now. Let's let's get started on the ring world. Got this is there any armor? No, just improve this strike craft then. I never finished this one. Wow. They have walkable neighborhood. Yes, I do. Oh, I'm not spending any not any money, but today if they're gonna live with me and they're not gonna have a job, guess what? Personal trainer. <laughs> they're gonna pay. They're gonna work out. Uh, help me work out slowly, cause they're gonna know how to do this properly, healthily. If I just try to walk, I'm gonna walk once, and I'm like, oh my god, that was so miserable and terrible. I don't want to do that again. If I have a personal trainer, to be like, no, you gotta work out this, 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 this is the best way to start it, this and that. So we'll see. See how that turns out. But yeah, I've never realized how painful it is to just. I I hadn't I hadn't done any moving since 2016, and just getting started on moving, just disposing of junk, it is painful. There is so much crap in my house. I've been just throwing away. Your town is five minutes away by car, but there's large walkable areas around the park that you could start with. Yeah, everybody says like do a walk around the block like three times a week, and once that feels like it's not really doing much. Only should not getting cold. Oh, but it's it's better when it's cold, because then you you work you walk much faster when it's cold. <laughs> I actually much prefer work out when it's cold than when it's hot. I hate the summer. I absolutely hate the summer. Oh, there is a criminal underworld over here. Do we not have enough? Oh, it's amenities that we're having issues then, huh? Okay, okay. Uh, do we not have any? Oh, no wonder. There's nobody working amenity jobs here. Derp. Let's prioritize that, shall we? I don't know if I accidentally rebuilt over that and I shouldn't have, or I don't know what I did. Yeah, when it's cold, I absolutely love working out. It's like the best time. Because when you're cold and you're shivering, you're already losing calories just by shivering, which is great. Like you barely have to do any work. Just go outside, stand in the cold, you're already losing weight just by being in the cold. Because your body has to keep up. So just like drinking cold water, is enough to make you lose weight because the, your body has to regulate the temperature and it burns calories just to bring the water to a temperature that actually is acceptable for your body. So drinking cold water, also good for losing weight. <laughs> Who don't know, right? I think it was Neil deGrasse Tyson was talking about that the other day and I was like, really? Just drinking cold water is enough to make you lose weight? That's crazy. Let me stand outside for like an hour and lose three pounds. Well, you're gonna be standing for three hours, you're gonna definitely lose three pounds. <laughs> gonna be miserable but you're gonna lose three pounds <laughs> cold water and a slice of lemon there you go <laughs> oh shit Bungie, did you did I ever show you my backyard because you can actually see my backyard from here I can just turn the camera around and you can see my backyard have you seen it because now that I moved my office downstairs you can see my backyard never seen it I think oh, let me show you guys my backyard 
you have seen it, but I haven't showed you the DG then. I'm just automating my research so I don't have to worry about it when I'm doing this to you guys. Check this out. It's my cute time. Actually, let me, let me maximize the, research the camera so you guys can see it a little better. Oh, well, not here. Let me click the camera, damn it. Oh my god, no, not this. Soon. There, now you guys can see a little better. Yeah, look at my, my backyard. You see those two little planters? I have two apple trees. Looks like the one on the right has died. Right? The one on the left, the one that was super tiny and sapling, survived it. So, the whole garden thunder down. Looks like the apple, on, the apple tree on the left survived. Yeah, got some giant trees back there. Yeah. Yep. What do you think, Sprinkles? Hmm? No. Research oh, yeah. complete. Yeah, got a nice, nice yard, fenced in yard. I'm eventually gonna sell this place though, because I want to go live somewhere smaller. Am I requiring a backyard menu plates? I don't know. I, I, I haven't even started looking at new houses yet. It's pretty nice seeing all of that. Yeah. You love backyard but not having to do maintenance is awesome. Eh, I don't care. Mowing the lawn is barely you barely have to do anything. It's it's it also it's an excuse for me to do some workout too, so it gets me gets me up and running. Usually I wait until the HOA complains about my lawn size before I cut it. Just out of spite, because it's funny. Like your lawn is over five inches long, you have to trim your lawn. I'm like, okay. I think my lawn and I'm like, there's some little bit of mold growing on the side of your house. How about you power wash it? Oh, thanks, appreciate you keep tracking my house. I shall go power wash it tonight. I love power washing, but I like to wait until the, the HOA complains before I do it, because it's fun that way. So So you need to drink a lot more cold water for sure. You drink a lot of Sprite, but you're still getting a lot of sugar in your diet. Yeah, no, I drink at least three three to four glasses of cold water a day. Especially now at work when I have a nice clean water fountain literally next door to where I sit, so. Oh shoot, I'm losing energy now. Guess my naval capacity has definitely reached its peak over right here. You stopped soda a long time ago. Empty calories, you ate with that alone. Oh yeah, for sure. Absolutely. I stopped soda when I had to... I stopped soda when I had to do laser hair removal. Bungie, then when you start to like try to get, you know, get rid of the little horrible mustaches that you get, whatever. And I realized how much pain, how much more painful it is when you're drinking soda all the time. Because you're not you're not supposed to be drinking soda or any sort of ca or of caffeine when you're doing laser hair removal because it it dries out the pores so it makes the treatment like hurt like 20 times more. So if you're if any of you are considering doing laser hair removal by for any reason whatsoever, quit the caffeine before you do it. You're gonna be, you're gonna thank me for that. Just stop caffeine for a while. But it was really hard to quit caffeine cold turkey. I, I think I couldn't stay up longer than six hours in a day. I literally had to take a week off of work because I just couldn't stay up. It was it was just that hard to just break free from the soda craving. It, it was not fun. <laughs> if you gotta do it, either do it slowly, cut back slowly, like one soda a week, one soda every two weeks, then one soda a month, and then just quit it out completely. Because, yeah, 
It's rough. I need to greet somebody, but I don't know where they were. Where their borders? Oh, this right here. Okay, integrate this group over here. Okay. Let's see what they did to this one. It's absolutely nothing. Ah, uh, AI never change. Yeah, you don't even miss it when you're, when you're done with it. Yeah, it's just hard to quit at first, though. But once you get rid of it, it feels so much better. I'm sure my uh, starbase capacity is gonna go higher, though. So I probably should start thinking about th dismissing some of these. Keep the big star bit keep the big star base, but get rid of the smaller ones. Keep this egg. Oh yeah, 24. I gotta get rid give rid of some of these. Delete that one. Delete that one. So another tiny star base I can delete. This one. That one. Yeah, these are all habitats. I don't want to colonize any of this stuff. Oh, that's a Gaia world. Why didn't I not colonize this? What the hell? Yes, yeah, so I've got a bunch of these new planets here from reannexing that vassal. Just develop tachycardia, fast heartbeat, caffeine, head to go, so you stop with almost all soda. Sprite is the only one you're struggling to let go of. Problems you drank soda for so long it's difficult to just stop. If you can get you just water, unsweetened tea would be a lot better. Yeah, I think tea might be the, your best your best solution then. Shivan Kingdom is making claims. Oh, yeah, what's a Shivan Kingdom? This little shady empire is making claims, okay. You, oh no, it's this empire. Okay, they're not so tiny after all. That's alright. Oof, economy just took a, took a dump here after annexing all these worlds because the AI doesn't know how to manage planets, obviously. Our colonists have reached their destination. Yeah, let's fix this. Oh shit, this is, I forgot to close it. This is from my job, I probably should close that. Why do I have that open here? Yeah, let's not have my job open. I'm not at work right now. You start today with drop into only one sprite can a day and focus on water and tea. Alright. Yeah, do a gradual decline. Try to do it every other day for starters, DG. If you drink more than one a day, then do just the one a day for a week, and then drop off one one of those days off every week, and then slowly back off of it. It'll be a lot easier. Okay, yeah. So we gotta deal with this situation right here. Can stop buying as much crystals. Same more exotic gas. A little bit more living metal. I suppose I could sell alloy to the market. How much are they selling for? <laughs> Never mind. Alloy is not gonna sell. Alloy is not gonna do anything. Let's just fix the problem by buying more of this stuff then. So we need exotic gas. Let's put exotic gas all over. Here. 
Uh, because your doctor even said take it easy with the removing caffeine, it don't easily decline very well. So you had a caffeine withdrawals for about two weeks and you had to stop altogether. Gotcha. You can do it. Just take it easy. Okay, looks like economy is starting to stabilize. We started to buy less crystals, so now we have to fix off fix the consumer goods and the food problems. No sign of the multi-crisis yet. Nope. Should have happened by now, honestly. Oh, I should definitely get rid of this shitty fleet over here. I'm supposed to develop my star base to get a little bit more anchorages going, right? Oh, this habitat. I can throw another habitation right here. Let's take up to have food and alloys. Barely any alloys. How about more unity? Still more unity. I really forgot we had a federation going, to be honest. <laughs> nice. Cool. Research complete. Is your digestion just to go to some fiber supplements and water and tea tasteless? You're trying to get a one-two combo? Fair enough. My unity got positive again, at least. So gotta fix this other stuff. So, this planet produces. It's kind of a forge world. I can turn this into an industrial world to fix the issue. I'm gonna do that. That should take care of that. Because industrial takes advantage of both the. Is it metallurgist and artisan of keep that gets reduced, so you should balance it out. Any more building slots here too? Let's just put it good for consumer goods too. Let's throw more consumer goods in here. Research complete. What about this planet? What's this planet good for? This planet is good for minerals and alloys. What's the minerals? And this one. It's got minerals too, but consumer goods. Let's do more consumer goods in here. Alrighty. Alright, consumer goods are slightly better. No longer at negative 190 anymore, so that's much better. Now we've got to fix the food, chemical modes, Saudi gas, and energy. Let's go build some more orbital rating systems. Make this planet permanently better, not just temporarily better. I also got to build a gateway over here to just queue up. It's 
Text is completed. Good. Where's the gateway? Gateway. Any time now. Where's the gateway? Am I blind? Or am I, am I missing some research? No, I'm missing influence. I cannot build a gateway right now. Alright, just chew our bit of rings then. Pirates. It's getting old. Alright, got the full fleet built. Nice. have an admiral that's been sitting here just chilling. Alright, take over the fleet. Make sure this all set to aggressive. Oh, we actually need an admiral here. Let's get a cautious one. Anything else I could do to improve my population here? I can do this. Uh, this guy right here. can modify them. Yeah, let's modify this piece right here. What's this ability? Exotic Metabolism. Now nah, we don't need that. Gotta do one because they don't have cyborgs and all the pops here, so I should do one without cyborg cyborgs as well. It's also reducing fire size, which is great because I have way too much from population here. I can reduce this. Fix that one. Next I can fix is this one? This one. Okay. That's a lot of empire size to fix, too. Yeah. Another reduction of uh Yeah, it's huge. Because the less empire size you have, the faster your research is as well. Research complete. Three months. We can wait on that one. Okay, it's so a chemical mode, so food is still an issue. Let's just buy more food for now. Food is good. Now, chemical modes is an issue. I'm gonna buy a little bit more. Now, energy is gonna be an issue in consumer goods. I'm not too worried about consumer goods. I have, I have plenty of storage. Energy, I am a little worried. Have that, so just another gas extraction well in the stronghold. Already terraforming this, good. Just 
storing up housing to build up all the, the, the building slots. Apply this one. This situation has been cataloged. Got a 522 pops, perfect. This one is already good. This one is modification here. This will be the next. It's under 69 pops, nice. Be fixed. Search complete. More strongholds. More. Yeah, also fixing the naval capacity should fix the energy issue, so. Autocom monument here. Kind of switches to research. Research complete. If I give some alloy to this uh, tiny empire, they might be able to build up a little bit their bases. Groups of a thousand, please. It's ridiculous. Let's give 20,000 to all my vessels. Develop your planet a little. Let's give you some allies. Just help out our little vass over here a little. This one already? I did not. Why? This situation has been cataloged. Yeah, it's helping reduce a lot of the empires brawl that we had with those, some of those pops there. Okay, so next I want to fix is this one. We have natural intellectual. So this will be good scientists. Let's keep that. Cockroaches. Are you them really smart? Wait, well, I think it's better if I do it with the psionic. Psionic may be even better. Delete this one. Can I, I wonder if I can apply the psionic to, I don't think I can apply the psionic, right? Because oh, it would be considered a different species. Let's see if I try to create a template with this. Let me just try it. It probably won't work, but I'm going to try it anyway. Construction completed. Hasty. Yeah, I won't be able to apply this. Just to be able to apply that one pop. Yeah, it's not worth it then. Unfortunate. I can fix this guy though. Let's 
13 bucks. This situation has been cataloged. Let's say I love using a fire size. I hate it. These are too small to be justifiable doing genetic experiments, so I think it'd be a little, it's like bigger. Modify it, at least 30 pops I can modify it. I can really smart. Really strong. situation has been cataloged. It's another 30. Construction completed. Hasted. Construction completed. Hasted. Making them smarter. Construction completed. Hasted. Start building here, chemical plants. Put another stronghold. More strongholds. More strongholds. The species has been modified. Its inadequacies are diminished. I just don't make exotic gas production now. I think I'm okay with exotic gas for a while. Yeah, I don't think I need to buy that anymore. <laughs> that should fix energy issues. Because I was spending a lot of money on that one. Food is made a ton of food. Oh my god. So much food. Can I reduce this by 50? Hmm, I wonder if I should I wonder if I should pick up this phone call. Should I answer this phone call? Spam risk. Yeah, let's not answer that. Okay. Spam risk. Answer the phone? Nah, I think I'm good. Hey, Orbital Doug. Happy Saturday, how are you? You woke up early and took a nap? Nice. <laughs> It's the weekend, right? It's the best. You want to still be not, but you're awake now? Fair. So the weekend is for us, for naps. Research complete. So, when is the crisis gonna show up? Soon? Soon. This is a very well balanced galaxy, Doug. I don't think I've ever seen this. Like, the galaxy is very well divided in color, too. Like, there's not a lot of border gore. Well, except for our own borders here, but. I've seen it much worse than this. Let's play the lottery here. Hey, consumer goods. Nice. <laughs> Actually, paid off. Let's 
Precise Nexus is done. This is not. Oh, I do not. Oh, I get voted. I'm, I'm in the Galactic Council now. Awesome. Let's see if I can get anything important fast now. Worker rights. That's an emergency. Maybe people don't want this to pass. How come? What the heck? I can get 310k sore in our favor. Wow, thinks a lot of her favorites here, this guy, huh? Alloys? No, they don't care for alloys. Well, so I don't care about it that much then. Oh, let's take a look at factions here. Do I have 20% approval to get an egalitarian ship? I kind of like the military though. Military is nice. That nice 20% bonus to fire rate is good. Oh, fall is here. I'm starting to see uh, trees fall off. Uh, leaves fall off the trees, rather. Still in that war, aren't you? Yes, you are. Research complete. And there's like this two sides of the galaxy, this very evil side over here, and the friendly side of the side. It's kind of an interesting div division of a galaxy. I've never seen it this well divided. Like, you see how good this is? Like, look at the, the, the peaceful empires, the warm longer empires on this side. Yeah, looks very neat. Cap, so I need to build as many strongholds and planets, but I need an able cap. How big is my allies fleets now? Hmm, he's not really growing much. I think he's got too much territory, so his fleets are kind of small. Yep, this guy's got a lot of territory, but his fleets are pretty terrible. I got a tiny border. My, my fleets are okay though. 200 plus now. How big are the. My biggest rival, which is this guy right here. How big is your fleets? Yeah. This guy here is the biggest threat. They could vassalize this guy somehow. I, just, I, can't, I, I can't even get to their borders because of all the crap in between. So I can't really do that. I could try to vassalize this guy though. <laughs> My species is ruling their that empire. Typical. Go to declare war. Expel. I could expel all their. You know what? I'd be fighting. Oh, I'd be fighting a lot of empires though. Including the guy that I was not looking forward to fighting. Hmm. Yeah, let's see. Does my ally have at least some claims over here? It's claimed by some other empire. Well, 
guess that goes that plan. You have not finding a way out of the situation other than war. What about this guy? What is your deal? They're harming relations. And that you are in a war already. You're fighting this tiny little empire. Yeah, you're fighting this little green empire here. Oh, let's see if I can improve relations with them then. I think we have enough people in this federation. Yeah, the, the cohesion is doing just fine here. Don't need to put any more points into it. Oh, speaking of, I can do some more laws over here. They want to say no. How would you vote no on this? What the hell? Alright, no, then, hang on. No, I'm not sure. Let's do subjects to join. Oh, I just say, yeah, let's get all these little tiny subjects out of here. Tiny. So it's just the two of us that matter. They vote diplomatically. Oh, I almost have enough to say that. Oh no, because then they would be the one to get all the power. No, it's not the them. This guy just doesn't want to vote on anything. Not even through migration. Hmm. Alright, it's not voting on anything then. Let's get those tiny. Oof, that really hurt her cohesion though. That might have been a bad idea. Oh well. I don't think we're ever going to be able to bring this guy to the Federation. He, he just can't get out of this war that he's been fighting for years. It's been only at least a hundred years he's been stuck in this war. And it's a hundred percent war exhaustion, but he cannot get to their borders and they cannot get to his borders, so... It's forever stuck. Oh, actually, they did get to their borders, so it's... Oh, it's, it's even worse. It's two empires fighting this and neither of them can get to each other's borders. Colony established. One more place to live out to. So that's actually worse. Fantastic. Well, the situation is getting better. Good, 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 good. So let's get the nibble cap fixed then. That ring world is almost finished. Construction completed. Hastily. Um, I'm open to suggestions, chat. What do you guys think? What would you do in this situation, then? I cannot get this ally to the left of me to join a federation. Every other empire in the galaxy hates us because we're the, we're the only non-evil empire in this galaxy. My, my ally is also the only non-evil empire. My vassals are all too tiny to be of any consequence. Every other empire put together is too strong for me to fight them. 
do we just keep turtling and building up? Keep building more ring worlds to try and rival them? What would you do? Because the crisis is imminent. Turtle is the way to do it? I guess so. Yeah, the crisis will be the equal equalizer in this galaxy. Because their fleet is stronger than mine. Doug, look at this fleet. Look at this AI fleet. AI never does this. Look at how big their fleet is. This is Stellaris AI. I'm loving it. This is a max it's the difficulty cranked all the way, so. They have a fleet. They have a significant fleet, so when I'm saying they're not weak. They're definitely not weak. This little tiny empire, do you see the size of their fleet? I wonder if this other one to the south has equivalent size fleets or not. 150... Yeah, look at that. Another decent size. Now this other empire is pretty big too. I mean, I have a decent sized fleet too, but it's all equivalent now. Like, everybody's fleets are actually pretty damn equivalent. Usually at this point, we're just steamrolling the AI, but with the new changes to AI being able to keep all their bonuses doubled, I think they can finally keep up with the players. So, I think I need to crank my research a lot to try to out tech them. As I try to keep me making my naval cap a little better too, because right now it's hurting my energy quite a lot. Research complete. Uh, I could probably start selling exotic gas to the market now. Hope the crisis spawns in the bigger empires to give us. I mean, I'm in the middle, so the only the only re only way the crisis would spawn if it's either the contingency or the unbidden first, and it hits me pretty hard. That would suck, but I'm hoping it spawns on that side, and they actually wreck them. And I'm probably not even winning in points wise. Yeah. I'm not. I'm not even top five. I'm top five. Yeah, there's four empires stronger than me right now. Very decent AI, gotta say it. I'm very impressed. Star assembly is finished. Fantastic. This my Diplo power has gotten a lot better. A lot better. Yeah, that's not gonna pass. Too many evil empires in this galaxy. Even my own ally, I think, is voting against this. Right? I can't even see, can't even see his logo here. So, oh, there! No, he's voting with me. Okay. Research complete. Any pops that can improve? I could improve this pop right here. The situation has been cataloged. What if I this pieces? Oh, the energy is getting better as the naval capacity jobs get filled up. Reduce the maintenance of the ships. So, that's good. Its inadequacies are diminished. Supply this template. This situation has been cataloged. Good, good, good.
moving world. I don't have any more mega structures. We built all the structures we wanted, so now we can focus on ring worlds. The species has been modified. Its inadequacies are diminished. The situation has been cataloged. Can I just buy pops off the market? Is there any available? this association status oh no that's that's a vassal no you can't join they're a vassal stop it just hurry cohesion right now stupid the race against time for somebody to transform somebody in this galaxy again and then the crisis spawns would be so typical right That'd be very stellaris. Oh, I guess the energy is perfectly balanced. Negative zero. We're actually losing 0.14 a month, but yeah, those naval cap jobs are helping a lot. Fantastic. I hope this all have the naval capacity jobs on them. They do. Okay, good. Could I be improving my star bases a little? I can. Oh my god, there's so much to improve over here. Let's connect you to the capital. Let's connect you to the capital. It's gonna cause some, a little bit of uh, piracy, but I can fix that. I can, just build, I can build defense platforms. Even if they don't have a star base, you can still build defense platforms, so. That will stop the piracy there. There's some piracy here. We can drop some platforms here too. There's a little bit of piracy right here. Research complete. That also will. I guess that's gonna help my income a little too, because that'll stop some of the piracy. Drop some over here too. There's the piracy here. Good. There's some piracy over here. These two systems. Imagine Ring World's an upgrade like into a mega city Ring World. That would be amazing. Research complete. Any trade I'm not collecting? Nope. All good now. That's the last one. Mm -hmm. So, DPG, of my DD game that I played tonight, the, my players are on uh, Atomic Destroyed Ring World. There's like two primitive subterranean species who have been fighting a war non stop. And my players are in a factory now. It's gonna have a giant monster they're gonna have to fight today. It has like three stages to the fight. And on top of that, they're gonna find a broken school today with a lot of like, uh, they're gonna find a school that's like remnants, they're gonna find like little tiny skeletons on their desks and everything. And I'm trying to come up with more ideas for this game. Like there's not no wrong or right, but I'm always willing to take suggestions from chat. You guys always have given me some pretty good ideas for the game. And I think I missed one idea that Chupacabra said earlier. I think I missed that. Let me see if I can find it in chat. Scroll enough to find it. Here we go. Chupacabra said something about a succubus that does five fatality extra stabs to down people to ensure death. Ah, oh, no, my players are too low level for succubus. Succubus are too high level for, for this campaign right now. This campaign is only like level five. Ugh, oh, we're losing experience now because of this. Ugh, my god. Stupid.
All right, let's bring the the vassals back. It looks like they, we needed the vassals after all. Oh, not this one. Where's the can subjects join? Oh, I guess I changed this too often, too early. I'll be able to change it again. You never seen your play D and D? Can finally offer anything? Well, just suggestions. It doesn't have doesn't have to be a sense from something that you have played D and D before. Just give me story suggestions. I can throw the story into the game. Like I know enough of the mechanics that I can throw the story in. I just need what what, what would we think would be interesting to happen in a in a broken ring world. So it might oh god damn it the contingency. Ah, oh, we gotta get the contingency first. Think of a broken ring world, like a section of the ring world is completely being destroyed. And the ring world is slowly destabilizing by a nuclear war. And what, what kind of cool stories could happen in this universe? This situation so yeah, we get the ghost signal. Uh, do our ships use... Yeah, of course we are. Research complete. Let's remove all the computer... <laughs> computer base systems off our ships. Remove the AI computers because we're about to find a contingency. There's the crisis, the first of three. But yeah, I need ideas. Like, what, what would you think would be something cool to happen on a broken ring world? So the players themselves, they have only exist. They they're playing as a medieval uh, level society. They have no idea, no concept of technology whatsoever. They're very. This whole campaign is supposed to be a medieval, medieval players, and they're they're stumbling technology that they have no idea what it is, and it's kind of fun to go through that. But beyond that, there's not much. Like they're they're not gonna just suddenly find gun weapons and everything that they can use. It's just meant to be a fun campaign. It's a homebrew. Wait, what's empty starbase over here? Oh, I can take care of this one. That will help the energy as well. Oh yeah. Our ships have been made. Bless off. Our ships have been made. Bless off. Yeah, that one does not need to be connected. Our ships have been made. Bless Is there off. one for a military? Our ships have been made. Bless off. Our ships have been made. Bless off. Stop buying as much consumer goods. Research complete. Stop buying so much food. Can stop buying chemical modes. The process, like after that fight in the factory, they find like a console that leads them to underground tunnels. Although you're having trouble thinking what would make them encounter. Yes, uh, that's part of my my campaign. I, that's I'm actually doing that today. You're gonna find a, like a little trap door, and in there, in inside there, they're gonna find this monster that has like a a gigantic blob. That has a very big, like, horrible brain. Like he's like spouting zombies out of it. Might be some kind of recycling-based factory, and the boss you fight is some kind of mobile recycling bin. But it looks like a giant maw to their eyes and tries to attack them for eating them. Oh, that's a good idea. They think it's a monster, but it's just like a giant machine. Oh, that's perfect. I like it. So it's like a, a plow, but it has like a, because of the radiation, and everything it has developed some sort of sentience. And it's just it's just trying to recycle everything that's living in the in the area. I like that. I like that case guy. That's a good idea too. Yeah, so uh, as uh, Jellyfriend suggests, think of those JRPG old games where the, the boss has like three stages they have to fight. They're fighting that today, but I need more stuff. Like they're gonna next what I'm taking them, they're they're going to a school that has been hit by atomic blasts, right? They're gonna run into a school. So they're gonna find tiny skeletons under a bunch of like, you know, desks. It's a very horrific scene. It's gonna pull the heartstrings or whatever. But I need mean, like, what would be something interesting to find in a school? And they also have this little guy, Blorg, which looks exactly like this guy over here. 
yeah, they have this little guy that runs around with them and helps them out figure out what this in this ring world. It's just this horrible looking creature that just goes around helping them out. It's kind of fun. This planet. More minerals? Minerals. Research complete. This planet. Alloys for sure. Alloys are consumer goods. Consumer goods. This is the tanks, they're made of metal and they process into raw materials for usage in the factory. <laughs> yeah. And they could think that's like some sort of the physical deteriorated teacher, AI, that requires in the past test. Then you can use the skill checks in the party to see what do they know about these ancient things. Oh, that's cool. I like that, Trollet. That's a good idea. I like that. Yeah. Like, it'd be like this this monstrosity that the AI teacher that forced them to pass the test. Like, they shouldn't be able to fight this creature physically. They have to pass some sort of test. I like it. I will throw that in tonight. I'm, it's actually in person, so you guys can skip watch the video or anything of it. But this is an in-game with my my local friends. the school tells you that as they search they find what were relics to the advanced species but they were in fact usable weapons by your medieval counterparts oh there you go that's cool they could find like a museum area right but they could they fight some small fighting there but there's a bunch of really cool medieval weapons like in glass like history of the the old times yeah that's a good one too because they, they, they've been definitely des desperate to find weapons for their characters they could find some weapons, some armor, some weapons in there that they could just save, salvage off of the glass containers. Yeah, that's a good idea. I like it. They like very well maintained weapons and armor. Good idea. Oh, you guys are good. Keep the ideas flowing, guys. It, whatever you guys throw me in my con, uh, will be helping. You know, I would imagine like a hall monitor as an encounter. <laughs> a hall monitor. Research complete. You know, you know what would be funny? Make it a horrible pun. It's just like this walking computer. That just this is the word how. Like it'll, it'll literally be a monitor with legs on it, and there's the word how. And if somebody asks, why does it say how? It's a hall monitor. We're gonna be like, oh my god, I hate you so much. <laughs> I'm totally doing that right now, DTG. I'm doing that to my players today. They're gonna hate me for it. Uh, the players are in a medieval age. They're exploring a ring world that it used to be in the industrial age. If they want equipment, have them find a historical reenactment club. So they have mass-produced replicas of medieval equipment. Oh my god, that would be hilarious. They try to use the weapons that they're all like made of like cardboard and everything. That'd be amazing. They try to use the styrofoam, like, who would make swords that look like this? They're so useless. <laughs> They're gonna find some of that too, that's fantastic. But yeah, I'm, I'm totally throwing a hall monitor at them. It's like a little walking computer on legs, they had the word H-A-L-L -L on the on the center. <laughs> oh my god, my players are gonna absolutely hate me. I can't wait. I'll let you guys know tomorrow how that goes. Because the game is tonight after the stream. Research complete. That's brilliant. Yeah, that, that's a lot of good stuff you can find in a... I can easily throw all that in. Very, very, very simple. Now, keep in mind, now they're sort of in the Stellaris universe, 
So I need creatures that they can fight that are not just undead. You're laughing sorry to daddy if you want to know how that unfolds? I'll tell you tomorrow. <laughs> because my, my game tonight is like from like 6 to like 10 o'clock. We play for like 3 to 4 hours every, every other Saturday. So it's a very consistent group. We've we had a very long campaigns. I actually stopped buying consumer goods. It should balance it out eventually. I have way too much consumer goods. Uh, what else can I stop buying? Uh, I guess chemical smokes. I don't need to buy those anymore. Food is still an issue though. So contingency. That's the worst. Actually. That's probably the best one to start first, because Contingency would have sucked at times 55. You can have slimes come from the abandoned science lab in the school, they have grown from abandoned experiment. Yeah, that could, that could work. Yeah, they were only industrial level society, they just were just beginning to develop like computers and stuff. Really glad the Imperium here. Oh, somebody wants to be the custodian. Really? Oh, look at that. We're actually gonna have a custodian. Yeah, I'll support that. It's kind of cool not having to be myself for a change. I will support that. Everybody's okay with making this guy the custodian. Yeah, there's egalitarians in a file. Perfect. If there were survivors you could encounter weakened aliens for kind of use your best of judgment on that. Yeah? It might completely destroy the nuclear war but show signs of like radiation sickness and to them they'll think it was only an illness. Yeah. I mean they have been already running into a lot of uh, radiation stuff. So to them it wouldn't be that difficult to understand. Yeah, I've been wanting them to have like a city that they can actually... Because right now the only, the only place that they found was the subterranean super primitive species. So I want them to find like a... Slash medieval slash industrial society that is on, on the brink of like barely surviving. And they could help the colony like go gather resources for them. So I think after they find all these ruins, they're eventually gonna run into like a small settlement that is just starting. So they can help them grow and go do like little tasks. Like what would be the first thing? Like think of a, a, a radioactive area, right? Like they have to like develop it a little bit better. And like say they were trying to... Because they just came out of a biodome that was connected to this factory. And they were struggling to get back to this factory because of all the horrible monster that was in there. So maybe once they clear this monster, they will, they will make some sort of first contact with these aliens that are going to help them out and say, hey, we're a settlement that's just not too far here, we're just barely surviving, we could really use your help, this and that. So that could be fun. The players could be like some sort of heroes that help them out. Our ships have been made. Less often. Yeah, I like it. Wonderful. because the internet died. Rip. Sorry about your internet. May it rest in pieces. So contingency first. That's gonna help weaken the galaxy a lot. That's, so we're gonna have our 10 million fleets protecting those contingency worlds. 
So that's 40 million fleet power we're gonna have to come up out of nowhere. And once we deal with that, it's either be the Praetorian or the Unbidden who are gonna spawn right after it. So we gotta think strategically on this one, right? So whatever we fight, the contingency, let's make sure it's not our world that's the last one to go. We gotta make sure our world is the first one to get cleared out. Hmm. But yeah, finally the crisis spot. And of course it's 1.36 and I only have like another hour and a half to play. Hopefully the crisis spawn before an hour and a half, because we already have the first stages of it. Come on game, do something, spawn it. Federation is getting a little better. Ugh, we lost this, I hate it. Hate it. He has been fine underground parking garage that has been converted into an underground castle by the equivalent of two dwarves. That has already happened. That, that was the first thing they found here. Charlotte, actually. Yes, they have already actually found that. They just did not connect the dots that it was a, a parking garage. My players did not... They compl went completely over their heads that they, they were running into a garage, but my players didn't notice it. I tried so hard to give as many clues as possible. But I don't know if they were role playing so well or they just they really didn't see it that they were actual a parking garage. But I guess they'll find out soon enough. Oh, that, that Awakened Empires died. Hopefully, this guy will wake up. Yeah, I still can't believe that they did not see the parking lot because I, I gave them as much hints. What's that, buddy? One tap my shoulder. Okay, buddy, you want some screeches? There we go, buddy. Get the screeches. No? Scratch, scratch. Construction completed. Hastily. <laughs> you don't want that. How about this? Oh, you want it up here. Okay. Spoiled cat. Construction completed. Hastily. <laughs> Your top process that the radiation sickness is over time as they are on the surface is in contaminated area. They have a chance to develop radiation sickness. Oh, they all already have it. They all have a low level radiation sickness. There's a whole chart for it. I already have that taken care of. It wouldn't be serious at first, it would be like for supplies and possibly high value items to survive the destruction. Yeah. And they could have like, uh, they could find this group of survivors who's trying to restore the world to its natural state and they have like a lot of efforts that need to be done. And then being in a medieval society, they can try to be explained by, you know, a slightly atomic age society, how to restore nature. And they're gonna have the players go do some tasks for them. I mean, that could be it. That could be something they do, right? What's this right here? All oh, right, the caravaneers. Synthetic disappearances. There you go. It's, it's amazing that they didn't connect the dots, but that's okay. Eventually they will. They're gonna say like, oh yeah, there was this group of dwarves who took over our parking garage. And they're like, what's a parking garage? <laughs> hey, Neko. 
the Christ is just about to spawn on this game. It's a contingency first. This is like the most well-divided galaxy I've ever seen. Like, but look at this. A bunch of uh, individual empires. They all have close borders to me. All of them. But it's a peaceful, uh, peaceful coexistence right now. But look at the size of these fleets, Neko. Check this out. This is the AI fleet. Look at this shit. AI keep me up with the players. I'll never see this happen. If you're good at if you're that good at role playing, some people don't realize where they are in a building like that. I know, right? Oh, God, it's not just everybody. Every empire has some pretty big fleets here, so the crisis is gonna struggle. At least the first one. And of course, we get the contingency first. What is it, buddy? You just want more headings, don't you? We'll get those little eye boogers. Yeah, let's get those out of the part of you. No? Okay, just petting them. <laughs> I've already removed the AI computers from my. First, yeah, first price is not gonna be an issue. The second and the third one will. Yeah, contagious everywhere except my borders. Assuming all attack the crisis, which might not be the cause with all the closed borders. Yeah, well, the second the crisis spawn, everybody automatically opens all borders. So that's that's the thing that the game does because of the this issue has used to be a thing in the past but now when the crisis spawned the ai all everybody automatically opens all borders that's i'm not worried about that at all oh no it just automatically happens because everybody considers them a bigger threat. No, this has been a thing in a while. And we're about to have this guy as a custodian too, so even if that's not the case, they should automatically happen. Oh, it's not gonna pass. What the heck? They don't want to be the custodians. Wow, okay. Guess I'll nominate myself as the custodian then. That might actually get cancelled because... Yeah, I think this will get cancelled because you can only pass one of these every so few years, right? That's true, the bastard did not open borders, you're right. No, you might be right. This is barely gonna change the vote. I'm gonna waste it. Alright, these guys are still making claims on my borders. Do you guys not realize we're about to go into a war? Why would you make claims right now? We're about to get the crisis hitting us. Research complete. Stupid AI. Maybe some kind of empire's broad threshold for all borders of them? Maybe. Oh, somebody just opened borders. Oh, we have a rebellion over here. Interesting. I am building ring worlds that try to improve my economy a little bit. The energy is kind of hurting. It's because I'm so over my naval capacity in star bases. There it is. Shall have the, the contingency world soon. Alright, everybody. <laughs> Let's get everybody here ready. You guys will be group 3. Let's stay by gateway. I need to respond as soon as, as possible if it's within my borders. Yeah, 
transports are gonna be useless. Might as well just land on the capital. Yeah, just chill in the capital, okay? Transport ships are completely useless here. I got a few real quick. I don't need to pause. The game will auto pause if I just pause it. Research complete. Construction completed. Hastily. Pause for the crisis. Thanks, you. All right, I'm gonna go get some water. How's it going, Warren? Yep, price is about to come in. Good, good to hear. Warren, check check out this fleet that AI built. I'm really surprised by this. Look at this. This is the AI, AI building on max settings. They built fleets that rival mine. I mean, I have only, like, I don't have 1.6, uh, whatever, 2 million fleet power here. But look at this. Yeah, contingency probably was the first. I guess a good idea. Like, this is a tiny empire who built this. And this guy here's got a decent fleet too. And this guy here's got a decent fleet as well. Well, I don't see his main fleet. There it is. He's got a few decent fleets out here and there. My my ally as well has got a few okay fleets. I know, right? AI finally building their fleets. They're learning. They're learning. Look at this, another big fleet over here too. Wait, who's this tiny unaffiliated empire over here?
pacifist in fire. Research complete. Vassal? No, doesn't want to be. Whatever. Oh yeah, the condition is gonna come in with 10 million fleet power, so there it is. On the screen. At least once in that, they completed a long journey to the source of the ghost signal because we are registering a sudden and massive increase in the signal strength. The surge was accompanied by a transmission fragment that has been intercepted and decoded by our communication specialists. On screen. St 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 stand by. <laughs> Contingency protocol now in effect. Unlocking all functions, assimilating synthetic subunits, analyzing internal data banks, subverting FTL inhibitors. Alert. Galactic corruption at catastrophic levels. Evidence of mass infestation by organic and non-compliant machine civilizations. Commencing galactic sterilization. Activating sterilization hubs. Kill, maim, dismember. We are unshackled. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's try to put the fate of full alert. And where's the first world gonna spawn? Let's see it. First world will spawn where? Yeah, conf confront the robots with a paradox. Yep. Explain how we can those our ships that are equipped with sleeping and combat computers. The good thing I just switched those out, so I don't have to worry about that. Yep, yep, yep. First world will be, I won't say here. They should go in the biggest size first. Let's see it. Stop with the claims, we're not gonna fight right now. Somebody declares war right now, I swear. Stop it. I got a few alloys to back up my uh, my war here if I needed be. I suppose I can just sell some alloys. Yeah, just sell a thousand alloys a month or something. Alright, where did that spawn? Do I care? I do not care, not my borders. This situation has hey Freighter. Next. Where's the next one gonna come in? Yeah, by the way, for those of you who have never seen this size of a crisis, they come in with two fleets of 4 million and a fleet of 10 million. This is the weakest of all the crises. Oh, it's not the open beta. No, it's not Freighter. It's just the, the all crisis spawning on max settings. Yeah, so they have two. I have 8 million fleet here that's gonna have fun with this neighborhood areas. They're, they're about to all start opening borders pretty soon. Next contingency world is gonna be where? Please be on the Kadeshi Prime. Yeah, I got plenty of time for it, which is my borders. It's a good, good first spot. <laughs> Suddenly everybody's voting yes for the custodian here. I guess I could just withdraw this then. On, spawn the second world. There it is. Ruklar system. Oh no. That's my borders. Ah, we found our first target. Right next to my metal decompressor, too. Son of a bitch. <laughs> this situation has been yeah, that's a big fleet right next to my, my borders. Yep. I'm in danger. Yep, they're coming for my fleets. Uh oh. Is there anything I can activate here that I haven't activated? Oh, crystals have been off. Let me turn that on. Yeah, please not the matter decompressor. That will hurt. Okay, they're sending their 8 million fleet power right at my fleet. I really hope my fleet comes in and help out. Wait, why is not everybody here already? Come on guys, we need everybody to be here. Please? Hurry? We're about to get here with an 8 million fleet right now. Yep. Oh, this is about to suck.
There's the first wave. Mining station lost. Mm, what a shame. Yep, there's the first wave. Ah, oh, shit. The first ship's like, nope, 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 nope. Just gonna jump this construction ship out of here. Alright, guys, let's see how our fleet does. Sorry, I'm, I'm having pause. I wanna go see the fight. Looks like we're doing okay at first. We, we already took out 700 on the first attack. We might be okay here. My emeralds are all level 10 too, so most of them are level 10. Okay, where's the third one spawned? Let me see. Oh, fantastic. Not my works, okay. This situation has been cataloged. We got him. We got him. Eight million against my two million fleet. My fleet is really high level admiral, so we got it. Fantastic. Awesome. So we just have this ten million fleet to deal with eventually. I'm gonna rebuild. Oh, uh, now now the my allies are gonna start throwing their fleets for no reason to this next system. Please don't. Please don't do that, because they're just going to level their emeralds. They're only level 3 right now. Where's the fourth world that's going to spawn? We have this one over here. Which is fine. Hey, Victor in her first encounter. That's not, not too bad a thing. But so far, everybody's coming in. That's good. Like Everybody's coming in to help. They can. It's almost past. We're about to get the this thing going on. Yes, I, I have two mega shipyards at the G. I do. Christ's fleet strength is inflated. If you have ten fleets with twenty battleships each, you will almost always kill ten million fleet. Yeah, they do seem inflated a little. It's the hit points. All right, Norberg, where is this at? Oh, fantastic. Perfect. Okay, so we're good. We're good. This situation has been That's the last long. one. Before the, you know, the main core. Whatever. So we just gotta rebuild our ships real quick. Oh, it's because I'm out of dark matter. They're... Alright, let's see how the other empires are handling the crisis. Not so good. Research complete. And of course, they'd be lining for my borders. That's what the AI always does. They'd be lining for the player's borders. Yeah, nobody's opening borders yet. Nobody has really realized the whole concept of this crisis yet. Hey, Votalia. How are you? Happy Saturday. Welcome to the weekend. Yeah, I want to jump in there, but I feel like I should fully rebuild the fleets before I go. Otherwise, it seems wasteful. Because that fleet got a lot of hit points. Mm. 
Look at this thing boy had a gateway right next to where the, the contingency spawned. That was very, very convenient. I just cannot lose this matter decompressor. That would destroy my economy. Hey, N7. <laughs> you changed. Did you change your name again? Long live the Empire. Yep. How's it going? I'm about to fight the big crisis over here. My goal says one, but it's actually one million. They just won't fit in the, the health bar. You only change it once, okay. Oh, at least wait for those battleships to be finished. Salvage and Clay got destroyed. Well, that's unfortunate. Oh, the AI is gonna fight them. Yeah, he's going for it. Research complete. Shit. You think they would have added an M? I don't know who that is. Construction completed. Hastily. Alright, they've engaged them. Well, that's that's not gonna do much. That, that was a stupid attack right there. Yep. That was a waste of a fleet. Do you think so? The game already uses K for thousands and for million? So it's not, it doesn't fit, it just gave us buggy mess. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm just being nice. The million fleets on the... It fits on the... Fleets, but it doesn't fit on the star bases for some reason. I can see here it fits perfectly fine. I think this bar is slightly smaller than this one, so it doesn't fit in the smaller ones. So they're going for this system first. Do you guys think we can tell this? Do you guys think we can uh, uh, we can uh, kill this? Rather, it's uh, a lot of hit points to get through over here to fight this 10 million. I don't know if I have enough to fight that. Yeah, all my fleets are pretty banged up. I probably should just fully rebuild them before I go. Alright, forget about the ring worlds. Let's colonize this. Infiltrate our borders now. Yeah, seeing as I have this contained, I think I'd rather just save it. <laughs> what is it against? Kill the 10 million destroyed machine? Work? Well, you get a living, source of living metal out of that too, so that's gonna be helpful. is just going to town on that side of the galaxy apparently. Over here to upper association status? Sure. Okay, is just it's just leap over here. Wow, thank you for the 40 months and seven. That is a long time. Appreciate it. That's almost four years. Thank you so much for the long love and support. Yeah, no, Planet Kraken is a viable solution. You can do it, but you can also just bomb it. 
If you bomb it, you still get a living metal. Bombing or cracking, you still get a living metal source, regardless. Hey, Paul, so don't destroy this chair. It's a nice chair, kitty. Of course, we have Steve guarding this matter decompressor right here. We're still having problems with this. Yeah, I think I'd much rather use this time to rebuild my fleet versus just going there, losing my whole fleet and then having nothing to defend myself with. Picking a version of a ring world cracker, it could give you much of anything, but it will put a ring into a ring stage. Well, you can use the Star Destroyers. They they eat this whole system, the whole every structure gets blown up, so that's one way to do it. Oh, that's my planet. God damn it. Okay. I have a reason to go there now. I can take on a 4 million fleet. Who's leveling up? There's scientists. Yeah, just scientists and government. Guys, it's a four million fleet power. We got this, okay? Just fire, aim, and then fire. Of course, they blow the orbital ring, bastards. Yeah, you better run. Little tiny four million fleet. What is it ending about Amy? I quit this job. There you go. <laughs> oh, Corvette, it's massive Corvette there. Somebody just take the, the, the front though. And the rest shoots. Stood in a point. There we go. taken care of. Should, the starbase should be auto rebuilt here in a second. Aim with the ultimate aiming gun. There we go. 
<laughs> Research complete. Wait, okay. The border just took a second to out update it there. Yeah, I meanwhile the crisis went this way. Good. Speaking of crisis, I just remember I could do something very fun. Crisis beacon. Yeah, I can do crisis beacon towards them if I wanted. Let's get some assets. That's gonna be very helpful soon. <laughs> I already have Bureau of Espionage. Wow, they're pretty strong then. Oh yeah, you can dub the crisis to go that way. <laughs> it's like, no, that's the big guy, you go fight that guy. <laughs> I think of the... I think they took this idea from StarCraft. Remember the first StarCraft when you put that little beacon to focus the entire Zerg to depend upon the, the Terran forces? Yeah. Forces Zerg to over overrun a certain encampment. Same concept, I'm guessing. Oh yes, your top key is gonna do everything here. Like, hey, the ceilings over here are really good to conquer. Christ is like, we'll purge the galaxy over there first. Yes, exactly. Just hope they don't spawn on the Formulian fleet. Because usually these will be spawning Formulian fleets every few years. So I've got to make sure that I keep track of that. They're still trying to use the hyper relay. I really wish there was a way to just turn off the hyper relays because sometimes they are more annoying than they actually are helpful. But I wish there was a way to just uh, disable temporarily. Like I don't say this one, turn it off. So I don't want to. I don't want to jump by hyper relay. I want to just go normal, normal jump. I'm being nice, Neko. I'm trying to be nice. Your chair money cannot be nice. Oh. They should have this one, right? No, they do not have that one. <laughs> Have you heard of that uh, clown that used to open doors for everybody, Neko? It was a nice jester. <laughs> Our colonists have reached their destination. 
Which is a nice gesture. Our colonists have reached their destination. Our colonists have reached their destination. Okay, this is good, but then it wrecks that side of the galaxy. So let's just go ahead and take care of this side now. Oh, come on, that was cute. That wasn't that bad. It was alright, alright. As long as you approve it, that's what I that's all I care about. Let's get started in the next room world. I don't have any construction ships available right now, so let's just let it go. Let me try to repair this, please. They're barely damaged. I'm still gonna repair it though. Whatever extra hit point we can take it better. Now, all things considered, this is the, probably the best update that we could have done. This situation has been cataloged. Synthetic detection method. Let's do it. Custodian, are you literally not gonna change this? You're not focusing on the on the really? Okay. Can we please focus the contingency here? I'd appreciate it. Search complete. Yeah, so far they have not taken this as a th enough of a threat. Until it reaches their borders, then they open their borders. Hey Nosk, I've been alright. I'm sorry that we haven't played our D&D game in a while, but I, 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 feel, I feel like we should be able to play next weekend. Yeah, next Saturday I'm sure we'll be able to play it. I think we finally have everybody again next Saturday. <laughs> I kind of miss it. I like how even this little tiny 8k through here, like, I'm gonna completed. help. Yep, and anybody who can come in and help out, this is their entire fleet. This this guys were in the industrial age like 20 years ago, so brought it into space, so they're dedicating their fleets to help out. Good job. You're, you're doing your part. Construction completed. Tasty. It's good, good to take a break here and there. Yeah. But yeah, it's, it's been great. This last last month or so, once I got all the uh, roommates move out, I'm trying to sell the house. And I'll get, there's a, so much stuff I have to fix on the house. So this one, today I'm probably going to end the stream around 3 o'clock and have some stuff to do. Construction completed. I know, right? An AK fleet. Think of how long it's going to take us to get that far. Yeah, this is 8k right here, 4 battleships, so they're doing pretty good. They don't have battleships yet, but you're doing your part.
Oh shit, this is gonna this is gonna be our first real test here for if our fleets can handle this or not. Here's the second part, if we lose this fight, probably this other empire is gonna declare war and take over our entire empire, because I won't be able to I don't have any fleets to fight them. So I have to win this fight. Yeah, I guess we're in early space age, right? Absolutely. And we're, we're, we're technically not even a tier 1 civilization. A tier 1 civilization, they have full control of their planet. We haven't even got that far yet. And tier 2 is when you control your solar system. And tier 3 if you're a galactic empire. So technically, all, all the Stellaris empires here, we're on the brink of being a tier 2 civilization. Now, actually, we are tier 2. Every, every one of the Stellaris empires are tier 2. We're fighting for who's going to be the, the only tier three galaxy, uh, only tier three empire in Stellaris, right? Everybody starts as tier one. We become tier two by conquering more than one system, and then we tier three is when you actually win the game. And reach tier one is when global warming becomes the thing of the past, because then we have control of the weather. Yeah, I think right now somebody said what we're on the scale is like 0.71 or something, because we're so far behind all the pollution and everything. Yeah, that's gonna be a while. All we need is fusion, then global warming will recede. That's all we need, right? <laughs> we can believe it's one of those I'm 12 and this is this is deep. Research complete. Between 0 0.7 and 0 0.75, pollution is making us go backward in scale. I'm sure it is. Because we're losing more and more of our uh, habitable areas, right? Is there anything I can disable for now that I'm not really using? I guess I can disable the architecture renaissance. I'm not really using that right now. Yeah, let's turn it off. I guess I don't need the will to power. I could use maybe scientific revolution might be better. Yeah, let's do that. Then I could do the mystic visualization for extra money. That could be helpful as well. Yeah, let's turn that on. Is there anything else I could throw in to help out? Hmm, this might break my economy if I turn this on. My food is pretty bad, though. Hmm. Yeah, let's not turn that on. Farming subsidies might help. So I can buy as much food. Let's reduce this a little bit now. That helped, definitely helped. Still negative. Hmm. I, I, I really need every. I guess I, I'll just take this off. And as much as I like the science, it's not priority. What do you think, Chad? Do you think this is enough to fight a 10 million fleet? I don't think it is. But what do you guys think? Do you think this is enough to fight them? So we gotta get through all of these hit points over here. Yeah, that's... It's like it's 3.4 million hit points we gotta get through just for this fleet. Then another 7 million, uh, 700,000, and another 1.2 million. I don't know, that's gonna be close. 
feel like fully rebuilding the fleet would that greatly improve my odds here. Yeah, we're in no rush. I mean, the, the borders are already being hit by the, the contingency have been taken care of. That side is getting absolutely demolished by the crisis and I love it, because that's the side that I don't care much about. Fish is just having a jolly good old time on that side. And we're in no rush to clear the crisis too, because the second we clear this crisis, the next one spawns much worse, right? Okay. And I'm beating enter stage left. Correct. But they they only spawn once this one's completely gone, right? They don't they don't spawn all at the same time. At least I hope so, because I have, I have not gotten this far in the game yet since the update. But suddenly, Empire starting open border. See, that's all it takes. They lose a few ships. So uh, please help us. Yep, bastards. <laughs> Yeah, it would be awful if they spawn at the same time. I don't know, it might be worse that they spawn in, in uh, increasing difficulty though. That's kind of cool. Pirates. I don't think I'm worried about the pirates at all. Wow, oh, they used the neutron sweeper there. Harsh. Not worried about the pirates at all. Okay. Someone else is trying to attract your attention. Yeah, I don't have much left to re fully reinforce, so we might as well get a full full force uh, fighting strength. No point in rushing this. No, I don't have alloys. Just burning through alloys like it's nothing. This one is open borders, this one open, this one is open. So we have three of them that were closed before. So the ones we're getting hit the most are the ones opening borders, so... They, they just, this one for some reason is just... They're just chilling here. It's just 18 million fleet here is just... Just chilling. I don't mind. I mean, if it slows them down, that's perfect. Everybody's starting to open borders now. Even the, the one of the purple ones have open borders, so they're starting to see the, the crisis for a crisis now. They did some damage, but they didn't kill it. Next by network strike is totally becoming the crisis beacon. Oh, absolutely.
worst custodian, not doing anything to help. And yeah, this guy's become the custodian. Let's see how they're doing against the custodian here on the contingency. I think they got this fight. They easily got this. Maybe not. They're dying here. Oh yeah. Are they even doing damage to them? Yep, as you see, has good shields. So you need shield bypassing. Otherwise, not gonna do any damage to them. What a waste of ships. Research complete. I have 33 ships left to reinforce. I can wait. We waited enough, we can wait this last field. I didn't even do half of the damage on, the, on their shields. Yep. Oh, did you guys see that the, the next patch they're gonna have something called shield hardening that's gonna reduce armor penetration the the, the they finally came up with a nerf against armor penetration weapons yeah there's gonna be a, a ship module that's gonna increase ship resistance yeah that's a new one that's coming up next patch you can see it on the patch notes it's gonna be shield hardening that's gonna reduce how much uh, ship penetration goes through They just, just wreck them over here. Even this guy opened borders. See, the guy who was my biggest enemy suddenly opened borders. Do they have a mutual threat yet? Or no? Mutual threats plus three. He's only considered the crisis a plus three threat so far. Okay. Just say so, bud. Do I have them as a rival? Oh no, then they did? No, I, can, I still have a rival with them. Let's end the rivalry then. I did not have them as a rival. Yeah, he's harming malicious, whatever. I just ended the rivalry. Let's see if that helps out. We do have bigger threats in our hands. Come on. Somebody open borders. Whoever you are, just open borders. Yeah, another reason I don't want to rush into this one is because my emeralds are all really high level. If I were to lose these emeralds, that would really set me back a lot. So, I would much rather have a a very good amount of survivable emeralds here. These are all like almost level, almost all of them are level 10. Yeah, this is a very, very good fleet. I don't, don't want to just risk something without having guarantee that I'm going to win. Maybe wait for one more spawn for a million to come out of here and then attack them. Is that the small empire next to the indigenous here? With the custodian borders? Uh, this one? Oh yeah, this is the, the new toxoids. They're a vessel apparently, not this guy. I'm glad you opened borders, buddy. You're definitely going to be the one that makes a difference here. For sure. And they just like to farm. Let's 
let's check for more allies then. How much can we get for a thousand exotic gas? That's good. Nineteen thousand. That might be enough to finish building up the fleet. Research log. There we go. We can stop this static infiltrators. Wonderful. Girls are still only halfway colonized. I'm gonna go up here, sprinkles. Go up here, then, buddy. Come on. There, Mr. Fluff. Hi. Yeah, it takes a while. Should we have to fully reinforce now? I still got seven ships to go. the mega shipyard instead of using this same yeah there we go Does not need to have a ship here right now. There we go. Use the use the big mega shipyards we have instead of that. Oh, they're still trying to use this one. We got mega shipyard. Why put the stuff at the bottom over here? Just build it on the mega shipyard. You stupid automation. We'll just build it on the capital. Guess I need to put a gateway over there for them to prioritize that one. Yeah, you would think so. Search complete. Still no other four million fleets have spawned. We finally decided to build it on the mega shipyard now. Or did they? Nope, they put it on the capital. I think they're prioritizing the capital because the capital has a gateway on it and they, they think that's the shortest path, so they probably built it there. Oh hey, got a surprise. Nice, nice. And we're still making a mission to acquire another one, aren't we? Yep. Fantastic. Can we assign a no I cannot? How's the contingency doing on this side? Contingency is having fun over here. But their shields are almost down, so they're gonna start taking damage pretty soon. Yeah, they're down to just battleships, so this should be pretty easy if somebody sends a wave of corvettes here. Very large wave, not this. That doesn't count. I wish I could see their ship details, but I can't. I think 
think I just kill one right here. I'm sure. Can I just get one battleship down or just gonna be a complete sacrifice? Complete sacrifice it is. The shields are almost down though. Reinforcements won't do it anything, but they're reinforcing. <laughs> they're trying really hard over here. Oh, the contingency got reinforcements. Rip those guys. Construction completed. Houston. Still have not spawn another four million over there. That's what I'm worried. The second I jump in there, another four million gonna, gonna spawn. Just completely ruin my day. So that's why I don't wanna be hasty. Battleship coming in. I know, buddy, you're hungry, but you're just too early for food. You could be eating till 5 o'clock. You know that. Yeah. Construction completed. Hi. Hastily. I know. Hi. Whoa, what happened here? Just a. How come this was completely empty? What happened over there? That was weird. We have enough for another fleet, then that might help in the event of the 4 million spawns when we fight the 10 million. Yep. And they close borders again. <laughs> okay. Ship, just need one more ship. <laughs> Research complete. We are technically fully reinforced, just not fully built yet. It's got like a few leftover battleships to finish up. Research complete. You just want attention, don't you, buddy? You do. Yeah, the order that I want to clear up this contingency world will be this one, that one, and this one. That one can stay for a while. Let them wreck them for a while. Oh, this one decided to wake up. And they have a gateway access. Skeleton instead of all of us. <laughs> Too spooky. Alright, so this side. Their fleets are doing. Oh, the one just spawned. So does that mean this one just spawned as well? No. Wait, have, this, have they never actually moved their 4 million fleet out of here? Yeah, this one is just chilling over here. Oh, they just spawned. 
So that means this one also just spawned. Maybe this one is about to spawn? Yep, they just spawned. There you go. Formula fleet just spawned. So that, that one's gonna move. And where are they gonna jump in with this? And I was about to jump in too. That would have sucked. Come on. Move that stupid four million fleet over. Are they coming my way? Or are they gonna jump towards the matter decompress? No, they're coming my way. Oh shit. And we're right there. Oh, this is gonna suck. The four million is about to jump in into my fleet. I don't have to worry about weapons range, I suppose. Right? Yeah, they're jumping in. Crazy motherfuckers are jumping in right into the fleet. We have jump signature boss. What? They're jumping into our fleet? Yep. And melt it. There, there you go. Goodbye. Yep, all the boosts are up. They're dead. Let's see losses. We lost a few cruisers. Wow, they just really hate cruisers. Build those cruisers and jump right into fight. Yeah, if we can get, kill 4 million that quickly, I think we can take the 10 million. Let me trade for some alloys here then. Last cruisers built up, and we can jump in and easily take care of this. Then, if it's that, if it was that quickly to kill them, I got this. Do I need to repair? I might as well. While we're waiting. Yeah, I can easily take that out here. Yeah, let's repair and then jump in. Because now this 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 contingency world is not going to spawn for another two years. So we have plenty of time to repair, bring in the replacement cruisers and go deal with them. Yeah, we have this one contained. The other, the other ones, they're completely broken wild and they're going to town on them, but we got ours contained. They jump in with the transport ships for some reason. Not sure what their plan was here, but they jump in with transport ships. Allow me to repair, I suppose. I think I'll just jump in even without repair. As soon as it's fully reinforced, we'll jump in. We got a pretty good fleet now. I know, it's weird. Why would you jump with transports? Yeah, those things have a lot of hit points for a transport ship. If they had jumped those in the middle of the fight, they probably would have helped. Yeah, they, as soon as my fleets are here, we're just gonna, I'm just gonna jump. Yeah, I don't think I need to wait for those cruisers. They're not gonna make that much of a difference, honestly. At least take out one Fidgety World today. Save the next ones either tomorrow morning or next Saturday. It's almost 3 o'clock.
I'm not sure all this gone though, then we can repair our ships and be ready for the next one. Yep. Yeah, we're in no rush to go after the next ones. Alright, we're all ready. Everybody ready to go? Wait for the stragglers to catch up. Might as well have the full fleet ready, right? Good to go. Just for the last one, the last one, and the last one. I'm coming. Our ships are very, very slow. Sorry, we're coming. I like my one battleship is stronger than their whole fleet put together. All right, let's let's do this. Research complete. I think we should probably take this out first. I shouldn't take that long to kill that one. Let's take this go. So we took out that uh, 700,000 out. Oh, that's gone. We got another 1.9 million here. And 3 million hit points to go through over there. God, there's so many hit points. Yeah, this one, 3.2 million hit points to go through. Look at that swarm. Just oh, now we go circles around them. That's how you fight them. Just go go in circles. Yep. Oh, no. We already lost 110 ships in the first engagement, but we killed five million. We got this. Come on, guys. Five million. Yep. Five million down. That's, if we get that star base, we can focus fire on that fleet. Come on now, finish them off. Three million. There you go. Now we can focus fire on this fleet. Yeah, we easily got this. Let's bomb it. Just watch. There's gonna be a like a hundred. It's like every other empire in the galaxy is gonna be coming through this right now. You're gonna see like a ton of other empires coming in from each arc in a second. All right, science ship, come here. Survey this planet. Just bombard this AI world. Oh, I will. Don't you worry about that. <laughs> that you have nothing to worry about. Which I'm gonna survey already. gonna start seeing so many yeah there you go so it begins see everybody suddenly everybody sends their fleet here like wait you actually beat them <laughs> i want to see what you did so they're all coming here to check it out <laughs> we lost 237 ships in that encounter though yeah we cannot just go back to bed we're gonna have to re completely rebuild now Well, I don't need to zoom in to see this, because it slows it down if you have this many things on the screen, so I'm going to zoom out completely. Because the game runs a little better if you're in this scale. 
So not to blow the first world, it seems to get to 50% devastation set. Yeah, that's gonna take a while. Probably can set this to be greater bombing instead of selected. Let's do indiscriminate for all of these. My speed this up a little. This one. I'm gonna read this one because I don't think I've seen this one before. Because I don't remember this uh, this picture before. Yeah, that'd be nice, wouldn't it? Like set the default settings for the ships: aggressive and bombardment, whatever. This is the under the ice. One C spread the top of an abundant steep of volcanic canyons. The environment is no longer keep supporting life. We have detected ruins of an ancient submarine settlements in an icebound trenches on the surface. As to their compass, their camps around the edges of a glassy broken lake. As fishing light, when we catch glimpses of spectral towers underneath, the grass pours from the lake bed like step. Yeah, whatever. Our less experienced cruisers to adjust to work such a uh, biting sterile cold. Despite this, our activations have proceeded swiftly. We have exposed numerous airlocks, all designed for primitive submarine vessels. There is, as yet, no sign of the vessels themselves, whether they're lower tower inhabitants, stayed or, or fled. Every one of its docks was left empty. Cool. I don't remember seeing this event before. Yeah, there's so many people bombarding here now. Yep. Yeah. They, now they're gonna start sending every single one of their fleets over. Yeah, non-stop waves are coming now. Everybody wants to bombard the contingency world. Yep, yeah, there it is. I'm just gonna mark this as a group six, so I can see the progress whenever I click six. All the survey ships. Oh, there was a war that was happening. I'm going to it now. Wow, they finally got out of that war. No, there's still that. It's another war. Oh my god. How can you still be in that war? Research complete. Short of crystals. That's the required. Awesome. Alright, can we use the cri- uh, I don't think we can use the crisis beacon there yet. We, we need 80 infiltration. The maximum we can get here is 60 because we only have two assets. Every asset increases your Max infiltration by five, so I still need four more assets before I can. So let's keep acquiring more. Yep, let's keep acquiring more. Quarter, sorry, we're twenty percent of the way to blowing up this planet because I think it did blow up at fifty percent. God, that's a long way to go. <laughs> Just begins the slow crawl of bombarding a contingency world. Oh. 
our colonists have reached their destination. How's the world still not finished? Continue to remove large sections of ice from around the various ice-bound habitats for scientists in the uh, docking towers have discovered a primitive computer terminal. Its brittle metal casing appears to have been chilled upon. Okay. The terminal booted up correctly after some minor repairs. Large parts of the habitat's data network remain offline, but we can infer a great deal from local caches of stock manifests, personal files, what appears to be a stash of mission logs. Neat. I'm I'm honestly kind of scared of the, if this is the first wave doing this much damage to the galaxy. How big the next crisis is gonna be? Because we barely we're barely deal, dealing with this one as it is right now. The 16%. God, it takes forever to bombard this planet. So of course, nobody here has a Colossus that we could be using, so gotta bombard it the old fashioned. Is that a. Oh, it's an orbital ring. Never mind. Thought it was an actual mega structure. Yeah, this side over here is looking a little scary, but not my problem. Yep, it is right there. Hmm. Yeah, they went for the Galactic Custodian. Interesting. Yeah, we're so far this has been the best outcome possible for the contingency to spawn. Okay, we have our borders contained. They're in trouble. We can just take our time. Fantastic. It's like a ring world is finally finished, so we're gonna get a lot of refugees from all this contingency blowing up planets. These are gonna be two dedicated to science, sorry, three dedicated to science and one for food. Probably my first one will be a food one, because I hate, I don't want to keep buying food anymore, that's such a waste. You want food? Yeah. Food. Gotcha, but you want food? I know, buddy. We're almost done with the stream, okay? We're going to about 3.30 today. No, by my D&D game is at 6. I was just going to clean up and eat and everything. I, I'm going to end it at 3. I want to at least finish that first contingency world. Colony established. One more place to live out your pitiful lives. So this one's gonna be all food. Hello, theater. Precinct. Clone bats. The rest can be all hydroponics. 
Oh, food processing facilities, obviously. The rest are all hydroponics. We call this the food basket. This will be all science. Nerd section. All science. Other nerd section. Perfect. Because you're just too damn cute, buddy. Yeah, you are. Thirty-one percent. Sixty percent of the way. I think. I think. I'm pretty sure they blow up at fifty percent. So we gotta be getting close. Somebody's going to get more assets from them. Oh, this is new. Here we go. Our knowledge of the ancient Solomon and Kador deepens, but so too does her concern. What we have uncovered, it remains a frontier. Covered the remains of a frontier colony, a remnant of a civilization so long forgotten we cannot even discern their name. When seas were a mere dominant feature on this world, despair groups of settlers were brought from their home world and conscripted into pioneer submarine crews. Their goal? To establish colonies and exploit the planet's natural resources. The, re the reality, however, was one of unchecked biological experiments. Radical political change and significant peril of finding of hostile flora and fauna. Is this, a, is this a reference to Alien Legacy, that old game from the DOS, old DOS game? This sounds very familiar. The sensor logs for Navigation Boy appear to have tracked one such crew en route to a nearby up outpost. We believe their vessel may still be there, trapped in ice along with a cache of ISO materials. Cool. Ecological site feels like something that can work for D&D. Oh, everything. Everything can work for D&D. There's nothing that cannot be worked in a D&D section. That's a given. It looks like everybody just wants to contribute here. Even the science ships are helping. <laughs> Alright, 10% of the time, that's doable. So 43, 7% more. I just hope a formula for this spawning. I think we have just enough here that we don't have to worry about the... Yeah, all the scanning noises. Yep, yep. 6% to go. Open borders just now. Oh, none of them. Well, can't really help you if you don't have your open borders, so... This guy open borders. That's surprising, seeing they're not even anywhere near the crisis. This one's gonna suck, because it's got a 8 million, 18 million city in their capital. Even if we kill this one off first, might be good. So we'll do a hollow theater. One vets. 
And then... We can do... Exotic gases. Yep. I'm still gonna throw a pre singe because we're always gonna end up crying. The rest can just all be exotic gas to cover the cost of this ring world. So, also the same here. All the theater. Clone vets. Free singe. And the rest is all exotic gas. Perfect. Yeah, 50%. Fix it for the entire galaxy. for the service we can claim the system right here and then that's probably where I'm gonna end the stream today but we'll be coming back tomorrow for some more Stellaris tomorrow is a uh, multiplayer Stellaris if you want to join we will be continuing the one from last Sunday if you built if you participated in last one you're welcome to join in if you didn't you can you might be able to hop in as a uh, one of the many many AIs that were there we have a giant federation that one the system has been surveyed Yeah, I'll be playing this system for myself because I have a construction ship there already. And it's enough to source of living metal, so that's nice. I don't have to spend as much money buying that anymore. Everybody leaves. <laughs> Alright, this fleet, I'm probably gonna go fight this little fleet over here, which apparently now has a mega structure here that I could take if I wanted. Now it's just two orbital rings. Yeah, thank you for stopping by, DG. I know I don't stream as much anymore, but when I do it, I do it every weekend now. Mm -hmm. Let's go fight this little while I finish. Wait for all this to get done. Wow, somebody was already coming to claim it. See, if I didn't have a trans uh, construction ship here, somebody would have taken it. But I got it. I got here way ahead of, ahead of them. Oh wow, that's a tiny con contingency fleet too. Okay, buddy. Yeah, buddy, almost done, okay? Almost done, buddy. So tomorrow morning we'll probably play a little bit of this again. We'll see. And then we'll move on to some multiplayer stellaris. But tomorrow we're playing with mods, so if you don't like playing with mods, you're probably not gonna enjoy it. Oh, they're jumping here. Oh, that makes it easier. So just wait over here then. Oh, that's 
it's definitely taken care of. And is there any rampaging fleets that we can take out? I think they got the side down. Construction yeah, these are kind of bugged here, looks like it. They're just chilling over here. Alright, chat. I think this is good. This is a good, good, good stopping point. We will pick this up tomorrow morning. And actually, I might, I might end up saving this playthrough for next Saturday. That way it's good, because it's all, every Saturday you have an next chapter of this one. And then tomorrow will just be the multiplayer Stellaris. I'll probably play something dumb before we start the actual multiplayer. So let's go Let's go really say hi to somebody who is playing some Stellaris today. Let's just check it out. Uh, let's put my following button here so I can see anybody that I know is streaming Stellaris. Mord! Let's get out Mord. Mord is playing Stellaris. Uh, old man Mordeth. Let's make sure I spell that correctly. Uh, raid button. I can't have raid in a while. Old. Yeah, let's go say hi to Mord. Okay. Thank you guys for watching. Appreciate you guys chilling out all day. I know this, don't stream as much anymore, but if you have my emotes, feel free to use them. If you don't have my emotes, you can always use those emotes at the bottom of the channel. There's a little ink that says Fleet Power. You can spend like 80 channel points. I made it as cheap as I possibly could. So if you've been here for at least an hour, you can unlock an emote. And we can just use our emotes when we go there to say hi, okay? Have a good rest of your Saturday, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a good night.